So, yes, I would say that, uh, Luna, you, you would be able to navigate, uh, to... Yeah, just that old rugged old tavern, and he would normally probably be lurking around out there. It would be around, I'd say, uh, mid-afternoon, around uh, about now, like uh, 1 or 2 o'clock. And it doesn't take a lot of looking around uh, before you do find a kind of bear... Someone wearing kind of a purplish bear skin of some kind, and he's kind of hunched over and clearly whispering uh, with a an orc next to him who seemed to catch you guys in his in the corner of his eye, kind of turns around and then starts to walk away. And the human just kind of, it's like, wait, 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 oh, we're not done. Uh, come on. Oh. And you all see, I will put in the group chat, this man, I'll put it in the general in here. He just kind of brushes off his his coat and uh, just just his his arms and just looks at you, hands on his hips. Well, look at you, here. Did you really have to go and blow that job for me? I didn't do anything. That whatever you did probably scared him off. I simply walked in. Mm, I see you've got new friends here. And colleagues. Friends is a strong word. Howdy. <laughs> I am offended. I mean, you're, you're the exception. Well, it's rare you ever come to <laughs> yeah. me just to say hi. What do you want, Luna? Uh, we were hoping that you might have heard about a certain group. Uh, and I, I, like, I sit myself down uh, at the table um, to, and drop my voice a bit lower. He folds, <laughs> he folds his arms. Well, there's lots of groups in Chester City. Which one? It's called the Protectors. Mm, yeah, heard of them. Like to roam around. What about them? I heard, them, heard that they're up to something, but trying to figure out exactly what that is. Now, I was curious as if your rats had heard anything. After all, uh, they seem to occupy the same spaces as the protectors. He scratches its chin a bit. They may have heard something, but I'm not one to give information away freely. There we go. What? Name your price. What do you want? Or what do you need killed? Or what trinket do you want? I want something in the place that they're going. And I think you know where they're going. Enlighten me. I, I need your word that you can get it for me. And he l l lets, he puts out his hand. I'd be very interested in knowing what the thing is before I shake your hand. Give me a persuasion. 15. Yay, good start. Decent. Hey. He's, he slowly closes his eyes and turns to you, uh, Nathaniel. Well, Mr. Witch Taker, if you must know, I would like one of these things, a little orb called a Warforged Soul. You see, it's a very strong conduit of power. On its own, it can't really power much aside from a Warforged, can't even make it sentient. But, to the right buyer, it can be something far greater. A Warforged Soul. Aye, it's about a uh, fist large. Orb-like, made of steel, looks like it's got runes on it. And you're positive there's going to be one that we're going to be able to bring back to you? At least a few. Maybe some out of commission, some broken down. Doesn't much matter to me how what, in what condition it is. I can get someone to fix it. Fine. And I'll reach out to shake his hand. Yep, he takes it firm. And with, with one simple shake, you've got a deal. So, okay. and he leans in. S spill. Come on. Words out that the protectors have a new accomplice. One that they haven't really had in their ranks normally. A human. No. Any names? Mm, didn't quite get one. They didn't let Descri My rats didn't Descri hear any of that. Description? But, mm, likes to hide his face. Wore a long cloak. Big hood. Well, could only oh. see his mouth. Green hair. Does he what wear a exactly mask? Like a... Yeah, what exactly does the mask look like? Mm, look didn't wear like... a mask, covered his face with a hood. Oh. Then how did you see he has green hair? Saw so his chin, had a beard. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Little stubble, wonderful. very well kept. And let me guess, smooth talker. Oh, very smooth. Tip them off to the Warforge factory, because hey. otherwise, that sort of game is not really Castilia's size. 
but he gave them some sort of guarantees that he would make sure they could get what they needed down there. I just look at the others. We- Renee just kind of rubs her temple a little bit and is like, All right, where exactly would they be? Where are we going to find them? Well, he leans back and uh, kind of uh, rests his head against his hands, kind of folded behind his head. As long as you make sure that they don't go inside the one remaining entrance of the Warforge factory, you should be fine. Maybe you could lay a stake out, put some traps down. They do like to be direct. And from what I remember, the Protector's magic uh, is more flashy. They don't do a lot of espionage. Lots of flying, not lots of teleporting. So even if they wanted to go in, I don't think any of Castilia's mages know how. So they'd be running straight into your trap. Hmm. Nowhere else they would be. We just have to expect them at the Wolf Watch. That seems a little too simple. He shrugs simple his does. shoulders. That's all I know. They expect to go there at dusk. Simple doesn't always mean bad. Simple and solutions sim are how I've taken some, down some of my biggest game. And simple qu answers usually have high prices. What do you intend to do with these souls? Or more importantly, what do you intend your buyers to do with these souls? Oh, I don't know for sure. I just wait for opportunity to fall on my lap. I know those things are valuable, and I know someone's going to want them. Yes, and what if Luna isn't capable of getting them? He shrugs his shoulders. Well, then she's probably dead. And if but... there aren't any in this factory, there isn't a secondary payment I can bring you? Hmm. Something shiny. He just shrugs, he just puts one hand off to the side and lifts a side of his lip. There's bound to be something valuable in there. I'm sure I can accommodate that. Yes. Yes, I'm sure we can find something. Plenty of collectors here in this city. They want what's mm. down there. I'll do what I can, but also understand that I need to make sure I don't get arrested either. That I cannot guarantee for you. Well, no, I'm telling you that I'm not jeopardizing my safety for a trinket for you. Mm, very well. You haven't strayed me wrong so far. What have I got to lose? Thank you. Bring you back a nice pelt next time I'm in touch, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And next time, could you at least make sure that I'm finished with my current client? I, like I said, I just walked in the door. Clearly, it was something you said. And I'll start walking out. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk out and you see that the orc was waiting outside, you can recognize that this is one of the orcs that you actually beat up uh, <laughs> in the bar fight when you Oops. encountered Robert. <laughs> And he, he sees you, he flinches a bit, and just, like, holds a hand up to his face and, and just, like, starts whistling uh, while looking the other direction. Oh, dear, I've got no qualm with you. You were doing your job. It's your boss that I'm going to kick the ass off next time I see him. You're fine. Wait, oh, what the fuck happened? Luna, you're going to tell me the story on our way. Oh, there was a reason I was late. Uh, we got oh. in a bit of a fight. Oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> I feel like Renee would be like, go on, as I, like, continue outward. <laughs> just, like... <laughs> Story time! No, she'll tell you the story as we go. Just like, mm -hmm. you know. So you guys head back fly. to the mech factory then. Or rather, not the the Warforge factory. I keep calling it I suppose mech. so. Just to be sure. I mean, if it's really a part of their mission, then they would eventually have to go back to it. Yeah, just, just to be cool. sure. Mm -hmm. We went to this man for information, and the information he gave us was go back to the place that we just came from to get to him. And wait. And that he, they were working with Bloodstride. They're working with Ghost yep. right? and that there aren't magicians who necessarily can get in. Like, they right. they aren't very good at espionage. They're more flashy. So, like, All right. okay. basically giving us the inf information of if they That's really want to get in there, they are going to have to get past us anyway. That's there's a, no way that they something. can do their plan. <laughs> like, that's, that's not necessarily that, but, like, yeah. There's no way that they okay. can really, like, sneak their way in there if we're there. So they have to, like, show up. Understood. In any case, on the price that they have asked for. I don't expect that we're going to be giving it to them. No, not at all. And you're fine with losing your contact like that. Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> and, you're fine, and you're fine with losing a contact like that. Oh no, I have other ways I can pay that back. I don't think he even begins to understand the gravity of what he asked me. I, I'm more than happy to help with giving him a little bit of something shiny. It would probably piss him off a little while after, but you know. That might actually make me lose my client. Listen, okay. Ma, we have workarounds. Sometimes I can't always bring him back what he wants, and there's no way a coward like that's going to go skulking around in the factory to look for himself. So. Oh, this, fair enough. 
This alliance between the protectors and Bloodstride does make me a little upset. No, it fucking pisses me off. It jeopardizes one of the plans that I had, but the reality means that we just have to deal with one thing instead of two separate entities. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm happy to see the Protectors gone. They give cell swords like me a bad name. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. So, on your way, you eventually make it back to the entrance, and you can see that uh, Kuro is just, like, entire maw on the leg of a Kenku while he is being held down by both Scorpio and Magnus, and the Kenku is just kind of struggling. Is this, is this who I think it is? It is. You oh. recognize that it is Robert, and... Uh, down, boy, down. No, no. <laughs> let me get. deal with this. <laughs> hey, let me... Oh, Show no, me the bird. you. There he is. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, bird! Yeah. Uh, Bird. <laughs> Bird! And uh, Bird. Scorpio kind of has him in a headlock while uh, Magnus is just holding down his legs. And Scorpio's struggling. Look who I saw trying to sneak in early. Love uh, that. I'm, I'm very appreciative that we don't have to search like, Hello, it is so good to see you. <laughs> Renee, remember that fight I told you I got into? here? This is the one. Oh! Oh, this is the li- And he's Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so ironic. Listen, Luna, I don't want any more trouble, okay? You beat up my boys, you left, we got no more business, I got the message. <laughs> if you got no more business, then what are you doing all the way over here? I'm I'm just it's- as concerned. I'm used to seeing filth like you with the stag, but I know. Yeah. This is so curious. What would someone like you be doing somewhere over here? Uh, Renee, you may give me your choice between persuasion or intimidation. <laughs> um, let's do intimidation. Oh, uh, no, I didn't scare the burp. I'm just being playful. It's okay. Uh, I'm not scary right now. I'm just being silly. <laughs> Luna, please introduce us to your new friend. Oh, no, he, really, I don't know him very well. This is the person that was trying to keep Scorpio in his in his work when he was trying to leave. I believe the word you were looking for, employ. Yes, shut up. Okay, make so me. what you're saying is this little right, shit guys. is trying to make people stay in Belgium <laughs> that they don't want to be in anymore. Oh, that is not good. You're, was there any threatening involved? Because we know that that is not a very good thing in the eyes of oh, the law. Not just, no, no, no. not just threatening, but... Sh- Try up trying to take me and Scorpio. <gasps> attempted kidnapping too. Oh no 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 no! Re- so so sad. Really, it was attempted taking, and I think that that encroaches upon our territory. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, Mister Bird? All right, I think I I think with all of this in the position he's in, that's an auto <laughs> succeed. I don't think you need to roll it. I stare down at too much. I stare down at the man and tighten my glove just a bit. And Fernay's just sitting there, keep on like doing a little tut 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 shit. I'm just so disappointed. <laughs> he just kind of squirms a bit. Listen, they told me about a big score, and since my my main means of profits has been low, and he just kind of eyes at Scorpio, I decided to take Castilia's offer. They told me to meet them inside, not much else. I don't even know what they'd want with this dingy old factory. They, it's been out of commission for decades. Just as he says that, you hear a loud creaking noise from the hatch, and a Loud boom. They're already inside, aren't they? Uh, Magnus and Scorpio just look at each other, and Scorpio speaks up. We didn't see anyone come through. Ah, oh, fun. Okay, who's going in with me? Because I'm going to go in and see what the fuck's going on. I'm going with you. Hmm. Good. <laughs> I'll wait out here and watch this filth. I appreciate you. <laughs> just blows the kiss. <laughs> he just kind of tie. He takes some rope and ties... Robert and kind of tosses him to the side and just pulls out his bow and aims it at him. You sit tight. And Magnus uh, Magnus gets up. I'll follow you through. I know a bit about these factories. That would be very appreciated. Thank you. Don't let him out of your sight, Scorpio. And if it gets dicey, run. You got you it. You understand me? And Kuro hops into your arms, Enoch. And you have your homunculus back once more. Oh, good boy. 
Popo's back. As we're all uh, like gathering into this hatch, I'm going to, Chin as script. I walk by Robert, I'll look by him and I'll say, I'm going to want to talk to you later. Let's gather your thoughts in the meantime. Mm-hmm. And then I will walk inside. Don't recruit him too, damn it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. (laughs) Uh, Let me. Every criminal's a goal. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You look all the way to the bottom. All the way Mm -hmm. to the bottom. Uh, Scorpio's not there. Let me delete him. Hold on. Oh. Wait, what's that? Who's this? What are those? Who's that? Who's this? Rocks. Who's rocks? Guys, I'm getting a hankering for some violence. And you may may place your tokens at the bottom there next to Magnus. No, I will place my token right here. Wait, no, well, I down. have fun being by the Warforge. That's going to ah, crush you, Mr. Squishy. Who the fuck is this tree? That's Magnus. Magnus. That's Magnus. The, oh, the good. Making sure. That's the tree folk, boy. That's uh, the one that has it out for you. I actually yep. don't have a, a handout for him. Oh, him. Well, that's good that I didn't react because I don't know that there's a problem with us right now. Nope. Yeah. That's yeah. No, 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 I've no. Uh, Only I've been eyeballing Magnus this entire time. I... I don't believe I called him. Uh, well, no, you didn't. In the meantime, you enter the factory down and down the stairs as the dim orange glow becomes brighter and brighter. And inside you see the full image of the factory now, whereas it was too dark to see earlier, Nathaniel, when you came down here, even with dark vision. But mm-hmm. you can see that uh, you are actually on a platform, kind of like a an industrial catwalk. And below you, you can see m- miles of steel girders, rocky walls, more catwalks and pipes all over. Uh, The temperature as you walk down here is considerably hot and dry and the smell of molten iron fills your lungs. The factory is nearly operational. It's near operational now? Yep. Oh no. Not this happened in a very short period of time but I imagine that the thing they're waiting on is us. Oh. Magnus speaks up but the protectors, they they couldn't have teleported in here, could they? No, but they had no. someone who could. I just and as you see, at everybody, like... ahead of you, you can see that there are several deactivated, very run down and poorly constructed warforges. You can see that these are salvage, like someone was trying to build them, but was clearly unqualified. Uh, and you can see pieces of rubble around, as well as some brass pipes in the walls as well. I'm, yeah. I'm going... I'm gonna uh, just for like, oh, so, sorry, what's up? Oh no, I was gonna say before we move anywhere, I would like to use uh, fine traps, fine traps. Ah, fine traps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The thing that just broke because... the last dungeon, let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> let's break it. Okay, with that, I'm gonna reveal a little bit more of the map because there is more of the Give map me. that has traps. Let's see, uh, is there a range <laughs> on that? 120 feet, holy 120? shit. 120, I told you it was broken. Okay. I only get to use it once. <laughs> A once every long rest, but it's worth it. Okay, you can see that these pipes are trapped. They have been rigged to spew hot air at whoever walks past them. All right, so avoid the pipes. And that there is something aimed directly down the hallway. However, you cannot see it. Aimed, it's aimed as at in us? it's going to fight something. Aimed, look cylindrical. So- uh, Luna, uh, uh, Renee's gonna push Luna just slightly over, just one square hey, over, literally ah. just five feet, just, and also move over to the wall, just like, di- just points over in the direction, it's just like, I don't know what the fuck. And you can, you can tell, I'm gonna draw it, hold on, you can tell that the triggering point for that aim thing is right here. Oh god. Okay, okay, good. Um, Renee is going to just point down at that spot, she's gonna move up to it, but not actually get to it, but like point down and just like, they were more than ready for us, uh, seeing as they fucking rigged this place to shoot at whoever decides to walk into fur. So, what is it? Is it, is it a... Uh, I it, can't tell from here, it's too far away, but at the very least, whatever you do and you step on that, it will trigger. Is it a... Is it a string trigger? Is it a, a tile? A pressure plate? Can you tell? Go- um, I'm gonna investigate it, look at it a little bit more closely. Oh, I, uh, would would find traps tell you that? Uh, includes no, anything it would, that would... it wouldn't tell me. It doesn't like, tell you like... half the shit that you say. Yeah, it really okay. doesn't. But like, let's just say it. It I can I sense where stuff is, but I don't know specifically what it will trigger. I right. just know that like in that general area, there's gonna be something. I don't know 
what the trigger is. I don't know what it will cause. Well, I guess I'm just feeling generous see, today, then. <laughs> I appreciate you for doing so, but, like, I would say that that would be a fair point of, like, there's something here, here, here. You don't know what those are, but those are just, like, the general areas of something. Um, I will say, because I know specifically where it is, I might just inch a little bit closer and investigate it, like... Mm-hmm. But this might be as close as I get, but I'm going to basically squat down to kind of like look forward a little bit, see if I can see anything. You can give me your uh, flat investigation and flat arcana. Okay, so here's investigation and here's arcana. Well, well ha ha! <laughs> Don't need the, who needs a spell? Am I right? Well, you can tell that this trap, whatever it is, is n- is definitely magical because investigating it, you can tell that the physical is not really available. So it's definitely magical for sure. Ah. Magically triggered in some way. Mm. What that mm. is, you are not able to glean from your arcana. That's fair. That might sound more along like what I might now. Yeah, you well, know, if you want to do something. Would you like magical. to come take a look, my friend? Because you are all the way over there with your lovely little dog, and I would appreciate a little bit of help. I always appreciate I, my help. Usually I'm very used to doing this by myself, by all means. All right. Uh, I look at Kuro. I tell him to sit and stay. I am going to slowly make my way up to the line, not cross it, up to it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I am going to check uh, the magical properties of what this is, where it's connected, and possibly how to turn it off. Uh, do you have detect magic of some kind, or are you just wanting to do uh, an arcana? I just want to do an arcana. Double check and, like, understand its structure. You may, right. uh, give me, actually, when I said, this is my fault for not communicating clearly, when I said flat, I meant, like, give me your stat, your arcane, your arcana stat. Oh, I have a plus five to arcana. Holy oh. shit, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Uh, you've okay. probably seen these types of traps before. It's very simple. It's just probably something just very simply triggered by walking through and becoming in range of something, most likely. Can I see what that thing might be range-wise? You can probably guess that this, like, judging by like how this is oriented and how this is most likely something set to where this is the range, that it is something with range, i.e. like you with your gun that is set up in this to be triggered in this way. Uh, then I would say, I wonder if it's a single shot or if it might be a multi-shot. There is a very simple solution to this. I'm gonna turn over and I'm gonna look at this guy. He looks at you and raises an eyebrow. What, what about me? You'll have to. You'll have to forgive me. I've met a lot of new people in the city. Who are you? Uh, I am Magnus. I am an adventurer, and I have heard much of you, Mr. Gainsby. Are you a fan? Judging by how much I know of you, I guess you could call me one. Very good. Well, I'm going to ask you to please stay behind us because we are professionals. Luna. Very well. If you could kindly use your powers to activate all of the traps with the projection of your father. We don't need to worry about any of this, or at the very least, we'll get a better understanding of how they work. Uh, do we know if an echo will actually... It, it, it's a... Technically, it's just a projection of myself. It's still... If you, you can attack it when it runs away from you, it's solid. It's physical enough to damage other people. I imagine it would be physical enough to damage a pipe. You know, I also could just use it to bypass this trap entirely. That is something. Also, before we go setting off a bunch of traps and making a bunch of noise... That is also a good plan. Enoch, what do you think? I don't understand these kinds of things. As far as risk assessment goes, if we can figure out how to get past this first trap, we might be able to get past the rest. It would be probably preferable to see if we can try and set off the first traps in uh, in order to try and not risk setting it off later down the line, if that might be a possibility. But... I think the only thing I'd ask is I that agree. we just look ahead first. I agree. That, Renee, that... is there... Oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I I agree. Um, I mean, if it's completely pressure-based, I could just fly over it and do some recon. There no, is... it's magic, I think. There is one other thing that I can do. Um, it will take me a little bit of time, about ten minutes to prepare, but... Um, I was in here before with Nathaniel. I might be able to um, 
see or listen to where they might be located. Make it easier to try and find them once we, you know, set up all the traps and save ourselves some time of trying to look for them. I mean, that seems like something we could run simultaneously then. All right, you set off traps, I figure out where the fuck we're going? Well, hopefully not set off the traps, but at least look ahead. All right. Is there anything else besides this this line here? Uh, the pipes. The pipes okay. will set off something. Okay. Well, then I... Try to avoid those. Those seem easier to avoid than whatever straight shot is in front of us, which I also recommend. If we do set this off, let's just stay to the sides. In yeah. Front of us, maybe behind the walls. Yes, if you're going to if you're going to sit down and try and cast, maybe, and she'll she'll like point over <laughs> she just here. Immediately, like walks back a little bit over actually where Kudo is, just like, oh hello. She like pet Kudo a little bit and I guess start preparing um, clairvoyance. Oh shit, that's a one mile range. Jesus, where are you? Yeah, it this? is. So that's why I'm like, I am planning to use this at a later point, but this will definitely. But I have to pick a specific location. It's up yeah. to a mile, but I have to pick a specific location. Right, right, right. Now, the location further great, ahead you, you have the been to with Nathaniel Exactly. Before. I adventured down here with Nathaniel before. Okay. So, so I will now reveal I'm that location because I, I assume that's where you're putting your mark. Yep. As far as we went last time. Yep. And I'm going to say for the sake, it's either visual or hearing. What do we want? Do we want visual or do we want hearing, guys? Because if it's hearing that you don't have to expand it, it can just be there, and then I'll you can tell me what I hear. I feel mm. like hearing might be the more useful one because okay. we could hear plans, but also visual we can see numbers. So I guess I'd leave that up to you. What do you think is more valuable? Seeing what we're up against and like counting how many people are there and confirming if blood shred is there, or listening to hear what they're talking about? Um, I am much more an info gatherer in the uh, what they are plotting. I don't care about numbers because I feel like we'll be okay. I could be horribly wrong in that sense. <laughs> I and mean, you can kick me in the ass later for that. But I mean, also, I'd we like can identify, get, we technically can identify some numbers, at least through yeah. voice. So. Uh, I'd like to do hearing. I'd like to do hearing. Okay, so you're going to hear that room that you and Nathaniel once were in. And I will uh, uh, let you know that that is the room where you found the Warfort Souls, the three, three of them. Yes. Um, and you hear whisperings. And the whisperings, like, come on. Finish that thing. They're on their way. And kind of like some running footsteps kind of clanging on metal. And now you hear a wooden creaking just slowly, like a like the hull of a ship. And it is just okay. there nope. creaking nope. and the voice nope. is kind of dissipated. And now there's only the creaking. Hmm. Noted. I will relay this while they're doing trap stuff. I'm, I'm just... You can go ahead and do trap stuff, shenanigans now. I'm just like, okay. Uh, I turned to Nathaniel, I'm like, okay, so can you roll that back a bit for me? Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm slightly losing my concentration No, it does here. say, oh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt. It does say as an action, you can switch between seeing, seeing and hearing. Oh, and I'm oh. doing it for like 10 minutes. Woo, I'll switch, sure, thank yep. you. <laughs> yeah, uh, you switch to seeing, the creaking, you know, in your ears stops, and you can see, the area, as well as, oh, where is it? A okay. single oaken bolter. Oh, Lord. That is aimed that down is. the way and is ready Ow! to be triggered. Ow! <laughs> um, do I know if Fuck. that can be automatically moved? Does uh, that move automatically or does it move if someone has to move it? Because if it's pointed straight down this way, we just got to make sure we're not going straight down this way. It is like, manned. Can it be aimed? It is manned yeah. by It's manned, mold. okay. Okay, knowing that, Renee will probably just be like, look, I'm, I would say we might as well just fucking go for it. It is one dude with a dome. If we are fast enough, he might not be able to shoot. Uh, my only question is, would you be able to relay that in time? Because it was 10 minutes to cast Ah, uh, yeah, that. that's true. Wait, yeah, it was 10 I, minutes uh, to lock, cast that? Lock key, reverse what I said. It takes 10 minutes to cast, yeah. So they probably would have already done their little shenanigan. But only an action to switch. Yeah. yeah, but it still takes 10 minutes to wait for... But it takes 10 minutes to pull up. So they're like, like, oh, I see what's down there. They probably would have already burst through, so... Mm -hmm. Oops. That's okay. That's okay. It was a good idea, though. It was a good idea. We had a we had a good idea, but that's well, okay. Let's do, let's do the other idea. Let's do the other idea. Let's go. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna play teleporting teleporting hopscotch with Echo Dad. Is that what we're teleporting doing? Teleporting hopscotch. Yep. Sounds great. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm pretty sure because... 
I can, I can tell, I can summon Echo Dad within uh, 30 feet of me. Um, I'm pretty sure I can cheese my way to getting away from the pipes safely and over this barrier. It's like, do it. It's it's a bonus action to summon him, and then I guess like mechanically I have to wait around. Then it's a bonus action to switch places, and then I just do that over and over again. Why are you bothering switching places? Just have the echo hit things. I mean, well, because so she he can also cast has... the echo further. Yeah, because uh, the echo can only be without uh can only be uh thirty feet away from me or it disappears. Sure, I'll let you do it. So is that what you're going to do? I will say when you do this, initiative will start. Uh. I'll look back at the others as, like, I have my Echo, like, b beside me and kind of give a, are you ready? <laughs> like, I will give everyone one this? thing to prep before initiative starts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the tree guy and mm. I'm gonna wave him over here. Magnus, mm. move out of the way. Very well. He moves towards the wall. He seems very unconcerned about everything. You seem very unconcerned about everything. Is there something <laughs> you have to tell me? He just squints his eyes at you. Nothing important at the moment. Well, that was a very intelligent choice of words. Anyway, I'm gonna turn away. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm figuring out where I want to, like, realistically have myself placed, and I hate to say it's gonna be in the middle. And now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna keep it here. I'm just not gonna move the thir full 30 feet. Okay, um, so that's, what's, switch. So that's what my, Luna will be doing. This will be my position. Nathaniel, are you doing anything before initiative starts? I have done that. You have done that. Okay. Enoch, are you doing anything before initiative starts? Uh, I am racking a l around into the gavel. Okay. It and uh, by the way, uh, I <laughs> maybe Kuro should be with Nathaniel. Oh, you have control of the token. Kuro's yeah. with Renee uh, right sorry, now. Sorry, Renee. But, yeah, okay. sorry, Renee. But just in case if it's Nathaniel okay. goes down... He can be that. healed. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that very much. And Listen. Renee. No, don't even worry about it. What are you um, doing? I'm assuming that like I find, I might have just finished like starting the concentration on clear voice and then I'm like, oh, so, and then I see everyone moving. Bam! <laughs> she has to drop her spell <laughs> so she can get ready for everything else. Okay. That would be what she'd have to do is because I was like, oh yeah, I got, I know what I'm doing. Shit, wait, everyone's moving. Okay, With that, never mind. Once Luna teleports, the trap springs. And the oh, fire fuck. is wrung out, and yep. everyone roll for initiative. God we damn We only roll 20s in this house. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and now for the combat best. begins. However, the first shot is rung out by the, big boomy. the Oaken Bolter. Yep. Please tell me I'm and not in this line. <laughs> Please tell me. No. I don't know how wide the line is, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the, that's the sad thing. I don't either. I just didn't want to be close to the It pipes. might just be a cone. Imagine if it's a fucking cone. Ooh, it, uh. it fires out a harpoon at you. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh. Be, do an, do an anime. Happen. Cut it through the middle. No. <laughs> I already had this happen to me. And or grab the harpoon. Use and it as a javelin. You need to make a strength saving throw or else you oh. will be grappled by the harpoon because it ah! did hit you. Ah! <gasps> oh no, what? Oh no. Scorpion, oh. is that you? Okay. Oh no, I, uh, Luna. I, oh my God, no, I just had this happen though. In one you, of my other games, history's repeating itself and I'm not ready, I can't. You take five, <laughs> you, ba, 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 ba. you take five Come damage on. and are grappled. However, it cannot pull you in because that requires a bonus action, which it was not able to do on this springing of the trap. So now hey. it goes to Nathaniel. You see a harpoon straight through Luna's leg and it is latched on. Well, silver lining is that's a distraction, so I'm going to uh, <laughs> take this moment to run quickly. Uh -huh. Hi, Echo Dad. Hello. Uh, uh -oh. I will not move right uh -oh. there. I will probably move yeah. right here because fuck okay. that. Yeah. I was warned about yeah. that. I know what that is. I don't want to be okay. right next to it. Uh, how far is this man? That's 45 feet. What do I have that's 45 feet? I don't even remember anymore. I don't know. Well, here's your sheet. <laughs> oh, I have a new mm, jinx. I want to. Okay, you know, ah, I don't want to use it yet. Okay. Uh, do I have anything Air. else? That's, that's sorry. There's a few. Ah, I'll use this. Uh, I am going to stare over at the gnome, and I am going to whisper through the air. Please, we don't need to have this kind of problem. Move away from your thing. And I'm going to cast dissonant, dissonant whispers. Yes. Ooh. Yes. 
I would like him to make a wisdom save, or else he will take seven psychic damage and be forced to use his reaction to run away. Now he is a gnome, therefore he will have advantage because of his gnome cunning. Ah. Fuck you. <laughs> he has advantage hey, on okay. all <laughs> intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws against magic. Oh, god damn it! We're useless, yeah. I'm kidding. Uh, lucky hmm. for you, he rolled a 14. So, ha. Yay! Runs away. Okay, and he Yay. does. He hops off. And uh, what specifically were the instructions? Just run away. It's, it's not an instruction thing. He's forced to move his speed away from me as a reaction. Ah, as a reaction. Yep, he hops off oh. and just immediately starts booking it towards the other side of the room. <laughs> there he goes. Well, they're going the way that we want to go anyway. Someone catch him. That's my turn. Cool. Okay, nice. Luna. There's a harpoon in my leg. There is, but <laughs> uh, you're no longer grappled because that thing is no longer manned. Okay, yeah, I still want to pull the harpoon out of my leg. Yeah, I'll say that's Ooh. a bonus action. You pull it out, it stings a bit. <sighs> Fuck that. <laughs> and I'm just going to run forward 30 feet, avoiding pipes. Uh, Would Echo Dad follow you? Uh, no, Echo Dad has technically disappeared because I'm out of this range, and okay. I can't bring him back because it's a bonus action, and I had to use that in order to uh, do that. So I'm instead just going to run after Gnome Fucker. Oh, you're going to dash? Yep, we're going to oh, do oh, a oh. dash. Fuck it, here I'm coming. Yep! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get as back here! As you step on the metal grating underneath your feet, you just hear a clang, 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 and you can see underneath even further machinery below you. <gasps> and you can see... You can see that uh, there's also this kind of magical barrier door that you can see through somewhat, but it's kind of a hazy image. And in that room, you can also see that there is sort of a piston leading to a octagonal mechanism that has like three uh, little indents, look like orbs might go in there, and sort of some wires kind? on the floor that lead to the various different rooms. Okay. And you can also see two stairs, one leading upwards and one leading downwards. But no other people other than the gnome. Nope, no other people. Okay. Well, I don't know where the hell this gnome's planning on running away, but... Renee, it is your turn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dash, so 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. And as I run by Nathaniel, I probably... Well, I can't see that far, so I can't determine that yet, so... So that's 30... 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Whee! I'm coming! <laughs> okay, next is Enoch. Oh, you guys. You're all in the the line of range. <laughs> Sorry. I can't. Just move no, forward. You can move, uh, yeah. No, nah, it's. I know I can move. It's just trying to get. If it helps, a line. I personally <laughs> don't do, like, line of sight accidental hit unless you, like, nat one. Ah, uh, I personally, I personally don't two. like to do that. I do okay. one or two because uh, the thing about firing through an en or through an ally into an enemy is that they'll get a plus two for being in half cover. So I consider rolling a one or two accidentally hitting them. Ah, ah. I like. But that that's too. how I do it. I don't. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I'll let you know that so you don't have to worry about firing through your enemy because like five foot square okay. is a decent amount of area, and I just like assume that you know you. Give you're your being ally careful heads not up. to yeah. shoot us. Yeah, you're yeah. you're you're probably yeah. at least decent with a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Proficient with a gun. Perish. <laughs> oh. Yep. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna move forward, and I'm going to take a shot with the gavel on that gnome. All right. Jesus, we're already doming gnomes here. Oh yeah, easy. Oh, <laughs> he got domed. <laughs> Oh, resist <laughs> that. Yep, Damn. the gun you invented. <laughs> you get a clear shot in the kind of his back, kind of through his his <laughs> rib, just <laughs> poof. He is not looking good. He is at death's door. Oh, you're strong against magic? <laughs> well, Alaka Blam. <laughs> Alaka Bloom. <laughs> you best get to stepping before I get to blasting. Uh, and then I'm gonna have Kuro move up uh, his full 30 foot flight speed. Okay. Uh, oh, he flies! Five, yeah, five, six. Once, once again, dog. just trying to 
you could just see it. it's almost like weirdly like the elongated body, but the little mechanical wings are just kind of letting him float along. According oh. to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a corgi should be able to fly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but does it matter? No, it's D and D. Oh my god, please! Don't. A little corgi flies anyway. Okay, is that yeah. your turn? Yeah, that's a, that's as much as I can do for right now. Okay, dogie. Next is the NPC's turn. Rax, uh, next shot. Magnus is going to move up a bit and unsheath his sword, getting ready. Not really. He's taking his time. And I don't like how close he is to Nathaniel. Listen, I'm not worrying about it because I don't know who the, who the heck he is or what the heck yeah. he's I doing know, here. So. I know. This is me yeah. as a player. Like, I don't like <laughs> yeah? this. I, am, I see the writing on the wall. I don't like it. I am highly you suspicious of him. Koro is next to him. Even though Enoch hasn't told me anything about him, I'm highly suspicious because I asked what he's doing here, and he said, effectively, I am a fan. Uh, <laughs> and then I asked, are you, like, here for me or something to that effect? And he said, no. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Don't worry so, about it. So this is its not very good at hiding his intentions as much as I'm trying not to give a shit about him. It's okay. Anyway. Now, the gnome is going to reach into his pocket and throw... Let's see how many? Three oh, many. spider mines onto the floor. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Uh, hey, what the fuck? Oh, thank God we're not spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <coughs> there are two around me, though. Yep, two around you and one kind of on the far end. And they are going to try and latch onto you, Luna. So oh, I don't like that. I'm going to need you to make two dexterity saving throws. Okay, I don't, I know likey, because I don't like the, uh, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Luna, please succeed in a save. Oh my God. And Jesus they, Christ, Luna. They are, they are oh very, they're small, they're about the size of a human head, and they latch onto you, and they start beeping. Oh, no. oh, I have that's a, a safe, problem. That's a safe response, that's good. Beeping means they're safe. <laughs> And this one is going to skitter. You hear the metal clanging as it starts to head towards Renee. I don't like it. I don't like it. Nathaniel, it's your turn. <laughs> I will break this spider's tiny mind. <laughs> and does it have a tiny mind to break? Can these things take psychic Do damage? Do these things take psychic damage? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, God. Oh, that hurt my throat so bad. All right. <laughs> Bet you didn't know I have one of the- fuck. <laughs> oh no! Well, I threw a dagger and I failed. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I would like to use the power of my secret second dagger, which will not do as much damage because it's an offhand. Right, you may. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this this will be minus two, I believe. Minus one. This will be minus one, whatever minus I roll. Minus one, okay. How you many? You either succeed or fail. And he seven damage. max damage on it. Almost too. max. Almost Jeez. max. It would be, yeah, okay. So the yeah. first dagger just king and falls off of the railing and just king, king, king. You just hear it echoing as it falls down. You have lost I'm that dead. dagger, unfortunately. Fuck. And the second one, you <laughs> land it straight into the jeweled kind of body, and it cracks and beep, 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 poof, and explodes. However, you are out of the explosion range. You are both fine. Yay! Amazing. Well, that's my turn. <laughs> cool. I'm going to be getting that dagger back after this. So you're going down? Presumably. I'll go up. Next is Luna. I'm happy. I'm having a hard time with my Nathaniel voice. My throat's a little sore. I hate it's to okay. say that this is going to be Luna's decision, but I would like to try and break one of the robots off of me. Okay. Alternative I idea. Wait, alternate idea if I can pose one to you. You have mines on your head. Have you considered a headbutt? <laughs> no, it's on, well, it's not, it's not it's on it's your on head. It head. is head-sized. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just oh. on me. It's just oh, good. On you. Hug him. Yeah. <laughs> Hug him to death. <laughs> I mean, wait, is one of them like on my hand? Uh, They're like, yeah, one's like latched on your hand. The other's like on your hip. I'd like to go up to this guy and punch you with the robot. <laughs> with with the, the robot. Hand. Correct. With okay. the robot. <laughs> All right. Give me an attack roll. Uh, I oh guess a strength. Are no! you actually kidding me right now? What is no, happening? No, 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 I'm action sir. Wait, no, I have a second. I have you second do have a second attack, attack if you would like. Hold on. Because I again. Yes, no. Oh my god. If today the day I action surge, today's the day I action surge. All right. Action surge. Please. 
I just I'm sorry I took all of the good <laughs> dice luck. You really but did. Somebody, someone had to be the sacrifice. Twelve is still not enough. For unfortunately, <laughs> no! you're swinging and swinging and swinging. I created a. I took a dice that was roughly shaped you like you and stabbed into it with him. a knife. <laughs> Hug you him. Took our fighter and broke her. <laughs> Fucking ooh. <laughs> that's, that's my turn then. Yep. You swing and swing and swing, but the gnome is dodging out of the way, dodging, because he knows that what those things can do, and he is terrified, and, uh, like, you're, you're, pl he's, like, playing keep away, and you're just trying to tag him. <laughs> Renee, Hey, turn. Dad, I think I'm about to meet you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that a, oh, okay, um, uh, so question. Uh-huh. Uh, does he have any metal on him? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's wearing light armor. Oh, um, I know course. exactly. He's wearing, he's wearing some leather armor. <laughs> I won't do that to you. I won't do that to you, Luna. And I also, <laughs> unfortunately, as bad as you have been doing, I still trust you to beat its a beat his ass. So <laughs> I'm five, glad somebody ten, believes in me. 15, 20, 25, 30. That is 30 feet for me. Um, yeah, I'm, um, I guess I'll go upstairs. So I'll dash upstairs. Okay, you're going to dash upstairs? So, 30, so that's 5, 10. That's 15 for me. And I'm okay. assuming that I'm going up the stairs. I will say you'll be able to see what's upstairs. However, what's upstairs is not taken notice of you yet. Okay, good. And you can I see am going pieces to of rubble, some more uh, deactivated or never activated Warforge, also equally as run down and kind of poorly put together, and a single spider mine in there. If only I had animated objects, I would make this so much more fun. But we're not high enough. Oh, animate, animate objects is broken. Animate, animate objects would be so fun for this. Um, so that was 15. Do I still have uh, another 15 feet of movement? Uh, yes, if you dashed. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm hugging the wall, 15. Because uh -huh. I, I, I see this, and I want to see what's over here. Uh, what you can see down there is you can see a bright orange light, and you can feel some Ooh. very faint heat coming from there. Cool, so I'm assuming that that's something I need to stop. So I'm gonna continue on my merry little way. Okay, anything else? Anything you want to do with your bonus action? Um, you know what? Bardic inspiration to Luna, I think you need it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as she's like running away, she's just like, like you hear Luna, like Luna hears her and I go, you can do it, I believe you, put your money in this little face. <laughs> I'm trying, I promise I am. <laughs> I believe in you, you can do it. <laughs> All right, next will be Enoch's Put your money in little face. <laughs> I love the flag. <laughs> Uh, shit. I don't know which one needs to be taken care of first. Uh, Please don't uh, shoot the robots that are on my body. I'm <laughs> hoping that they will break before they will explode. That's the problem. Then would you aim somewhere specific? Like maybe it's legs so that it'll like unlatch I itself? Would, like, ah! I would try to destroy what could cause the detonation. Oh, that's the a spider. very difficult shot. The spider. Yeah. Now, hopping off what Cammy said about destroying the leg, that will require yeah. a higher dif uh, DC to, to hit. Um, <sighs> but it, I will say that can be done if you so wish. Ooh. Well, Ooh. well Ooh. I have a plus nine for a reason. Yay! <laughs> Whack it! Whack it! All smack right. it! Bap it's it! It's okay. I Twist will it, pull it. you if I explode. All right. Terminator reload and then do, do, aiming do, do, down do. sight. Hopefully trying to get one of these legs off of Luna because I don't want her blowing up. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right down the center here and I'm gonna take my shot. 17. Ah. Well, I mean, it's not the worst thing you it's could have rolled. Worst. Yeah. Let me see the damage. Oh, oh my nope. God. That's, no, wait, wait, that's wait, not wait, the damage. No, that is the damage. That is damage? What? Holy Max crap. damage. Holy crap. Actual Max, max wow. damage. Max Holy damage. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay. Holy shit! Oh my god! Whoa! We thought you were rolling. <laughs> I thought that that was another normal dice roll. Holy I crap. didn't think you could do that. So this gun is terrifying. <laughs> so that does hit, but your aim was a little off. Oh no! You hit the spider dead on, and <laughs> kill it, which activates detonation, and it oh, explodes. No. And Luna, I'm gonna need you to take. Does that explode Sil the other one? Damn it. Oh my god. Silver lining. <laughs> silver lining. We have an NPC here. Luna can play that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it explodes. You Luna, know, you take I've... seven damage, and that also destroys the other one, which also explodes. 
Okay. Wait, seven dead. Damn it! We've been giving da so much of a shit the about dude? these things. What about the dude? <laughs> yeah, is the dude dead? Kill that guy. So, <laughs> Kill that the guy. other one, you take an additional twelve damage from the other oh. spider. Oh, I don't like this anymore. That's way more. And since the gnome was within, like, here's the series of events that happens: <laughs> a bullet whizzes through and completely like shatters through this one spider, and it beep 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 beep, and the gnome just goes, "Oh hell's!" and <laughs> explodes on Luna, and the gnome is dead. Oh my god! <laughs> as I as I put down I guess... the gun a bit, I am I am realizing that Luna is gonna be so fucking angry, <laughs> and I am already mouthing the words, "I am so fucking sorry." I guess I guess the artificer was no match for his own inventions. <laughs> Davy, you have disadvantage uh, think... on all your rolls for the rest of the game. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> What? All right. I agree is with it, this. Uh, okay. I don't think Luna is paying attention to you. I kind of think that after those things exploded, she went to her knees because two bombs just went off on her. I I whistle as loud as I can and direct Kuro towards Luna. It, it, is, that was like, wait, is combat over? Yes, combat is over for now. Okay. You can see. That so was like this half thing of my health in one is go. not doing this spider mine is not doing mm -hmm. anything. Cool. Um, okay. Do I see why uh, is it deactivated? Uh, uh, let's uh, let's get to that after yep. these two are yep. done with what they're doing. I'll hold off. Okay. I'll hold off. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Sounds okay. Great. So I was gonna uh, have so, you roll something, but yeah. So uh, Kuro walks up to you, Luna, and he opens his mouth and he presents two small pills, and these will be a cure wound. Oh. She she. <laughs> Three. 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 She will. She will you can the slightly smell. hear the sound. Would you like another? Uh, uh, Luna's going to shake her head, pat the dog, and be like, no, no. I'm good. And get herself up. I'm still fine, guys. I still have, Art. like, over half my health. It's, it's not Tylenol. Tylenol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think Tylenol would be a great thing to take when you've just gotten exploded in. Huh. Renee. As long as you follow it with an Aleve after, yeah. yeah. Hey, um, if I could just ask, if I actually do get blown up in this place, please let Scorpio know. I'm not going to do that, so do not get blown up. Renee. Oh, I'm, I'm upstairs. I am. Did I hear him Renee. calling for me? I am calling for you. I can't find okay. you. Okay. Up, 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 up. I hear immediate calling. I will trot back down the stairs. What happened? Oh. Holy shit! That's what the boom. No, no, what's the that, fuck? <laughs> that's not the issue. I just need to know which way you went. If you want to keep going that way, it's fine. I'm going down. <laughs> All right. The minute something else happens, you let me know. Oh, if there is another explosion, I'll just assume the worst. Now, I will say you can check that way, but I will ask that you any further exploration be together. Right. Right, 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 oh, right, 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 right. Actually, just kidding. I, yeah. I, I, I remember that. I, I kind of assumed that since it was all one map, it would have been the same. But that's fine. I'll go with everybody. Else. No, no, no. Okay. It's okay. You yeah. can, you can um, look down that say, way. I'll reveal yeah. Yeah, I, that down this ah. way, you can see oh. that it is empty and that there is a doorway that leads to a something that you can hear sounds very echoey behind it. So oh, you can either go I down the see... hot room yeah. or you can go down the echoey room. Yeah. So there's... do we want to hit flames or do we want to hit well, an echo? There's also, are we not going to pay attention to the fact that there is a magical force field keeping us from getting into one of the rooms? Are we not? Is that a force to... field or is that dice? That's a force that field, is a I force believe. Field, yes. I, um, I'm not good oh, at magic. Shit. I just assumed. I didn't want to be the one to say it, but as villains go, it's, it stands to reason that since there are two wires going in yeah, the have, opposite alive, directions so. and one wire going into the force field, you can imagine that we have to go through each room and then shut down the force field, go through it, and then fight whoever's built this place. I was more just seeing if we could see through it. Uh, can we? You, what is your passive perception? Mine is... Or who is, who is the highest, I guess? We'll just take that Nathaniel! one. Nathaniel! Nathaniel, yes, what is that, like 21 or something? Nathaniel. What do I see? Uh, it is... It is 20. Oh, 20, okay. 20. <laughs> With Could a 20 be better, passive but... perception, you can see that in there's a large room past this barrier, and there seem to be rows and rows of humanoid figures. Ah, good. The final boss room, as ah! I expected. <laughs> good. Good. I hate it. 
I, listen, there are I just many more got forged it. inside. Listen, and... I was just exploded. I just wanted to make sure there were no more bombs. No, you failed. Are you sure you don't want any help with that? You look like you're a little. Hold on. She like licks her her tongue, uh, um, like licks her uh, fingers, and like puts out a little bit of fire that was still in Luna's hair. <laughs> Just. I'm. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Do not waste. I am so on. fucking sorry. Magnus <laughs> steps up and okay. just kind of puts one hand near the barrier. This thing isn't usually here. The protectors must have laid it. They might be on the other side. I of course think they're they absolutely on the other side. Who, do, who else would be part of this? I I cannot, for the life of me, remember how we met you. Hmm. Your name? I thought you this are... was with Scorpio. Yes. You're with Scorpio. I was. I came in contact with your friend, Mr. Solomon, over there. She oh. looks over at Enoch. Howdy. So this is your friend? Yes. Please well, keep track of your not friend. really. What? Uh, it, I we wouldn't say just... friend, more like a recent associate. We have just met. Right? Yes, this is true. But why did you bring him along? I, I didn't bring him myself. along. I simply oh. wanted assistance in taking down the protectors. With all due respect, what can you provide for us? I can provide you history and more knowledge about this place. I am a scholar of sorts, and I have studied it. All right, what do you know about this place then? Well, it was built in a massive crater. Some large spell or weapon created it during the war, and the kingdom must have found whatever valuable minerals inside to make the war forts that roam around today and that this barrier isn't supposed to be here. This place was locked down and quarantined by the kingdom decades ago, and that whoever the protectors are working with is much more advanced in the arcane than they usually are in order to make such a barrier. Well, we're fairly certain that the protectors are working with the spine of death. He tilts his head a bit. Well, that's preposterous. No, and how is it's that? it's really not. How? And why would you be so sure of that? Well, they don't work with anyone but themselves. Anyone who is not with them is against them. And they despise the spine of death. They use them as exploits. Then I suppose their motives have changed. Well, somebody offered them a deal that they couldn't resist. Yes, they don't seem to be incredibly scrupulous with their motives. No, I not at all. Hmm. So, from, from where we're walking direction, I'm assuming going to downstairs first, then upstairs to try and break this? I think going towards the talking is probably a smarter idea. Which way was the talking? Up or down? The echoing? The to echoing the right, this yes. way. Yeah. And then the hot well, let's go that way. this way. All, All right. right. I'm going to start walking. Uh, can, do you uh, want to be in front where you could get shot by something? Well, well, you literally well just set on fire. With all due respect, you've hit two mines and most of the traps. I <laughs> yeah, fly. Kuro's sticking next to you. I am <laughs> going to have a private conversation with Magnus here for a moment. Uh, I'm fine with that. Magnus doesn't seem to follow anybody, but sees you approach. Yes, what is it? What in God's green earth do you think you're doing? He turns to you. Would you like to incite him? Yes. Okay, you may. Oh, okay. You can see that he he has malicious intent. It's very, very clear, and it's very clear <laughs> that he's got eyes for Nathaniel. Yeah, I'm beautiful. <laughs> Everyone has eyes for oh. me. Yeah, of course. Uh huh. Listen, he's listen. He's the witch taker. You and know, he, just he like, looks, oh my god. He looks at <laughs> you so and he boys. he simply squints so his eyes, boys. laying the foundations. You don't have to worry about me messing up with whatever plan you've got going. For now. No, that's exactly what you're doing. I'm going to politely and forcefully ask you to reconsider your position here. Give me a persuasion. <laughs> He crosses his arms and just looks at you. I'll think about it. In the meantime, I will stand guard at this while you and your companions do whatever it is that you do. Make sure nobody comes by here, and if I see any protectors, I'll be sure to cut them down. Very well. Enoch, where the hell are you? <laughs> Currently taking care of a situation. Sorry, don't want to waste time. And Magnus, My apologies. I will let you know that Magnus will Stay here. No, I'm not pulling any pun. Uh, rather, I am pulling the punches and letting you guys know Magnus will wait here until this barrier is uh, deactivated. I'll, Appreciate I'll, you. I'll turn around and uh, speak. Where's your friend? I'm sorry? Where was your friend? Uh, he's keeping watch on the gate. No, oh, I... Your strange and mysterious friend that has a knowledge of the inner workings of this place is standing right next to the barrier that we intend to turn off. Well, we have to do two in order to actually get through, but... 
Yes, and when we do that, we will be all the way over here, and they will be all the way over there. I'm sure that will go well. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just okay. moving forward. I'm just figuring out what's in this room. Hello? Yes. So, in this room, you can see that it is actually kind of closed off from... It's got walls that close off the kind of massive gap and lower kind of hole beneath you all. You can see inside, there, uh, as you walk in, they're not paying attention to you. They haven't taken notice of you yet. A bunch of mono drones, a dwarf on the other side of the room, and kind of oh. a, a uh, grate, kind of a steel grate that you can see through where you see a catwalk and another like opening to the rest of the factory. And a Jesus. bunch of da, 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 kitty widget, kitty widget widgets. Kitty widget. They are <laughs> they are word. like little mechanical kind of scorpion looking things. Ah. Kitty widget. Oh, yo kitty Joe, widget. could you do me kitty something widget. that would make me very happy? Can you click on one of these Modron tokens? Uh huh. And then hit Shift Z. Shift Z. Look at these little balls! No! Look at these little balls! No, you guys. Okay, I can think. I can think a lot of things are cute, but the lips on Modrons, I fucking Ex hate them. They're That's so what cute. makes them cute. Anyway, just so no more cute. body shaming. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, uh, question: Are they made Mike out of Wazowski. metal? Are they made out of uh, metal? They most definitely <laughs> are. Yay! I want to set one of them on fire. Okay, they haven't so done anything. They're let's just roll. Nice. Let's roll initiative, and we're going to do a surprise round because they have not noticed you. Just Yay! like obviously, they look like Modrons by their tokens. What actually can, are they? Uh, I can roll decent on my initiative, but nothing else. They are oh. they are Modrons, specifically the Mono Drone. Oh, which I, is, okay. Which can wrong. do one task at a time, basically. Well, uh, I imagine we'll just that that's your turn. I imagine yeah, that just being a random dude, I probably don't know what a Modron is. This is a weird Warforged to me. Yep. So I may be a learned yeah. man, but I'm not an extra planar man. Yeah, I, so I just see weird robots with lips and I want to kill them. That's all I see here. I mean, I'm not does, especially bloodthirsty, but he, go <laughs> off. Does um, Kudo have a um, different initiative than Enoch? Uh, he, he'll... I. I think we talked about this with Joe. It's just that he's going to move with me. Saves oh, a lot of time. You don't need to put him in initiative oh, then. You can just move him at the same time as you. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, I, I accidentally had Kuro highlighted oh, when I rolled I see, initiative. I mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be a surprise round. So uh, you guys will be able to do something, and then we will be skipping the protector's first turn. I think no. I might. I think I honestly might just dash to this guy and uh, make that a 70 my 70-foot dash? Uh... Wait, 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 I can, I can count. I, I can do math, I swear. <laughs> Go here. I don't know why I was thinking she had 40 feet movement. I was thinking like my barbarian, sorry. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna dash through the room. Okay, uh, you dash through the room. And at the, uh, after I'm there, I want to, uh, use my bonus action to bring Echo Dad out behind this dude. Yep, you bring him out behind the I dwarf. I think that's, yeah, I think that, I think that's, it's gotta be, it's 15 foot radius. Nope, I can't do behind. I can do right beside it, though. Nice. Mm. Okay. A Echo Dad has words <laughs> for you. <laughs> As you do walk along this, uh, this texture is actually something important. It is a metal grate, as you can see, that it's got holes in it, and you can see that below it is kind of a orangey hue of heat. And as you oh. walk through, oh. I'm going to draw. <laughs> I just get burned. Uh. All of these squares, I'm gonna say you probably went diagonal like there. All of these squares just foo, shoot up oh. a tower of flame just like immediately after you run over them. You do not oh. get singed, but oh. as soon as you step on one and step off of it, it foo, 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 as you run through. Oh. oh, noted. Thank you for moving as far as you could. <laughs> Those are now, will now continue oh. to be on fire. Oh for, no. For the, round. Oh. oh no! Oh no! I can't oh, move! I wanted to I, go in here! Oh this... fucking, I'm sorry. I did not. Ooh. It's okay. We didn't know. We didn't know. I apologize. I mean, I'm glad you're that fine. at least I could be the test dummy. I'm the most resilient. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> this is Don't not even worry issue. about it. Okay. Okay. And with that, uh, the practice turn is skipped. Nathaniel, your turn. 
All right. Uh, I have a few things that I could do. Let's see what we want to do here. Hmm. Uh... I, oh, I have want to idea. try. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I, I'm not I worried about this. Something. These are these these creatures do not bother me. I also don't want my allies to be flamed. So perhaps I'm not going to move them all. I'm not going to shuffle everybody. So instead, I'm just going to mind sliver this boy right over here. Ooh, which boy? Uh, actually, how far can I reach with mind sliver? Because I might just do it on the guy. <laughs> Let me check. Mind sliver thirty feet. Mind sliver is sixty feet. Which wow. Is uh, a very far. Oh, 65? Well. Ooh. <laughs> nice. You're and then I'm going to reach out with Mind Sliver. Boop. Okay. Okay. Yep. You. And that'll be my turn. Just a wave, kind of like ethereal wave around his mind, and he <laughs> flinches a little bit. Mm -hmm. He will now have uh, a less strong saving throw. Uh, I will, uh, to, to describe it, uh, I'll, re I'll reach my hand out. And I'll reach into his mind, and as he's focusing on Luna, running at him with jets of fire following her, <laughs> I'm going to try. To, I'm going to force his attention to be pulled towards me as he's continuing to try to force it towards Luna, and that like stretch between uh, focus is what's actually going to damage him Ooh. before he snaps ah, back to Luna sneaky. at the end. Ooh. Yep, he is dividing his attention. Oh wait, it's the next saving throw. Damn it. <laughs> yep, sorry. No, no, it's fine. I just, I forgot that what I wanted to do is contested. It's not a save. It's okay. Next uh, it's... shall be Enoch. I, I might be able to help in that instance as Ooh. I draw up the gavel. I am going to take my shot against the guy, but I'm going to use a winging shot from my marksman ability instead in what hopes that, that it hits. We will find out if it hits. Okay. I don't know how you can use winging shot. You are not a bird. <laughs> oh, so you're I'm assuming the dwarf, a 23. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, that hits the dwarf so easily. He needs to make a strength saving throw, or else he falls prone. Oh. Minus. 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 One my, oh my God! Yes. Wait. Minus oh one d four. Oh my God! Wait. Did Enoch yeah. and Nathaniel just work together? They just did work you together. Yes. Oh my yeah, god, the boys shit. work together. I thought I was going to you know lock you two in a room. You know what? Along. I take my spell back. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is I love that Davy is giving the him, of petty. I'm giving him his headache. I, I, I'll take that away from him. It's fine. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, did you work together? <laughs> yeah! So basically, after he n mind slippers, I almost like stepping slowly out with the gun just behind him ring out a shot and just fucking nail this dude in the noggin. Yep. Oh, and it Y'all just... need to like make that a combo because that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Did you roll damage yet? Uh, yeah, uh, give me the damage. I, I have not. I have not. Uh, let's see. Roll that damage for me. Roll that sweet, sweet damage. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> he is Jesus. not prone. <laughs> he just got his head rocked mentally and physically. On his ass. I, wonder, I actually want you guys to know how well that worked out uh, by what I rolled. On his saving throw, I rolled a 17, and then the subtraction, I rolled a 4. So he he was like yes! just under me. Yes! Oh, oh my, my god, god. teamwork! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I don't have to lock you two in a room after all. I'm Yay! really happy about that. Uh, you can work I would like together! To I would, write, I would like to remove Mind Sliver from my spell list, please. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's how you supposed to be here. This is a feat. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, there's still Kuro on, on the, yeah, uh, on the table. Yes, there is. Kuro. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, Kuro's going to go and wiggle his way past Renee just a bit, and he's going to point towards this dude. Uh, this dude in specific. Monodrone, yeah. Yep, and he is going to use his uh, Force Strike, which is basically... Bark. <laughs> bark. <laughs> and what does that bark so, do? With the range of 30 feet, one target you can see, it does 1d4 plus 2 if it hits. Oh, so, okay. So it needs to roll an attack. Yep. Oh, Borf. <laughs> oh, he tries. No. Borf. Borf tried. Borf, yeah, Borf is not borf. loud enough. <laughs> oh, oh, it was a boof. It wasn't a barf. It was a boof. It was, oh. Yeah, it's just a boof. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Renee's turn. Nice okay, try, cool. Kuro, but thanks. 
Uh, heat metal on this boy. Okay, jeez. Just heat metal on him. <laughs> Just heat metal on it. On the yep. being of metal. Yep. Yep, on the being of metal. It just catches on fire and takes 17 fire on damage. Fire. <laughs> wow, just instant fire. You, Boom. it <laughs> bursts into flame and <laughs> just shatters. Yay! My god, you killed it. <laughs> it's concentration up to one minute. Does that mean I can make it bounce to a different thing? Uh, does it say <laughs> or, that you can? No, I think it's it very doesn't. specific that like things that can do that. It That's would say. like. Yeah, because Hunter's Mark yeah. tells us yeah. that Hunter's you can Mark, Hunter's Mark is like that. I was just curious if Heat Metal was like that, and it's not. It's okay. I will take it. I will take it. All right. Because I did cast it at a third level, so I will do it at second level for other stuff. Next, uh, the surprise round is over. Luna, you can see that uh, <laughs> ev- that the dwarf as well as the... got to forget their names. The little... Modern? Kid, uh, kitty widgets. Modrins. Oh, the kitty, kitty widgets. widgets now have their kitty attention widgets. on you. What do you do on your turn? Ah, uh, well, uh, I want to uh, go up to this guy. I'm not really paying those things attention right now. I'll deal with those when they when they when they come up. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to detain this motherfucker. I basically want to pin, like pin him down with like the sword to his neck. Ooh, yes, you. Oh, just pin him. Yeah. Go ahead and give you give me the athletics. Yeah, you can take the 21 and... Uh, yeah, 23, technically, with the Bardic Inspiration. If yeah. You yeah. Let's... Yeah! The second athletic son? Yes, you have him grappled, and the second athletic Yay! will pin him. And <laughs> Like a well-oiled he's... machine. Right, he needs... uh, Amazing. That's a 12, or it yes. could be a nat 20. He nat one. Welcome to Restrain. <laughs> oh, he got a nat 1. It doesn't matter. Nat yeah! 20 versus a nat 1. Who wins? All right. You have him pinned. Yeah, no, Luna is just saying... Scream and your head's gone. Okay, well, next it's the protector's turn. Uh, and he is just going to whistle. And the kitty... Oh, God, I gotta remember their names. I'm just gonna call them Scorpy Babies. Scorpy Babies. The Scorpy, Scorpy Babies. babies. Robots. I don't like Scorpy that because it makes me think of Scorpio, and I don't think that's what okay, I should well, be thinking you, of. I'll, I'll just, well, I'm gonna call babies. them Widgets. Wid- widgets is easy to remember. Widgets. The Widgets. The kitty little Widgets. widgets turn their tails forward, and start to shoot darts at you, Luna. Oh, great. Cool. And what there will be three darts. <laughs> uh, Luna's tunnel vision. Who? That's what I thought was going to happen. Dang it, Luna! Okay. You're able to dodge one, parry the other, but another one skids by and kind of nicks you on the shoulder. You take three piercing damage. Okay. Uh, the dwarf is going to try and get out of your restraint. It has disadvantage, yeah? Yeah. So you need a contesting athletics? Uh, 17. Oh, yes. You keep him there. He's trying. He's struggling. But no, you keep him there. These Modrons are going to fly up because they have wings. <laughs> so now they are no longer on the platforms. That's fair. And they are going to head towards Nathaniel, the closest target, and go stab him. No! No! Oh, you're coming Wait, at question. me instead of running away? Wait, question. Yes. Oh, uh, oh. Is the fire gone now? Oh, yes, that's right. The fire is gone now. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, just wanted to know. Yes, yeah, because uh, it know. came back to Luna, Luna's turn, uh, and they last that long. Okay, yes, it flies towards cool. you, Nathaniel, and they're both going to stab at you. Haha, <laughs> I'd like to see them try. Don't jinx yourself like you that. You have very low AC. Uh, you are I'd weenie. like to see them try. Uh, they both stab You're you. You're weenie. <laughs> I'd like to see them fail. You, then you'll know. <laughs> Ooh, you take five damage from both. You take ten damage from. No, don't no, worry, no. that's and only they, a third of my health. They take oh a God. little. They take their little rusted metal rapiers Ow. and both start to jam at you, and you are unable to move as quickly, and they. Take a couple of steps. Ow, ow, oh, shit, ow. Seeing a third of your health <laughs> disappear from that yeah, scares yeah. me. I don't like they, that. The thing, what the fuck? They're orbs. I'll be fine. Why are you so squishy? <laughs> Speaking of Nathaniel, it's your turn now. Oh, oh good. Uh, okay. Well, in that case, I am going to... Let's see what we got here. We have a couple options here. A couple different things that we can do. And since they are flying, they didn't trigger the little fire thing because they didn't step on mm-hmm. anything. That's true. Think that that is very true. Uh, I don't want to be here anymore, so I am going <laughs> to uh, like kind of slink downwards, and my form will melt down into the ground, uh, leaving only my hat behind. What as I, I bloop, what? As I reappear over here. What? Did you misty step? 
Yes. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> but as is with my cool flavor. But as is with my misty step, my hat stays behind. Oh, oh no, uh, not the hat! Yeah, so it's just right there. It's not in the fire. I'll be fine. But the hat. there, you, you melted. <laughs> for RP purposes, my hat never comes with me when I misty step. I love that. Uh, that said, now that I'm over here, I can cast proper spells. I've got a million of them. Let's see what I want to do. What are the chances these guys have like no HP? I cast sleep. Huh? Hey. Let me see if they what are. What the chances they got only like 18 health? Who knows? Uh, yeah, no, these things are not immune to sleep. And yeah, roll me your damage. Uh, I have it. Uh, it's 18. 18. Oh, it's 18. Okay. Yes. So does one of them fall over? So one of them does fall over. It falls over. Uh oh. <laughs> asleep. I see what I have done. Oh no. Yep. And now the fire's just gonna go. <laughs> Why is there just a banana hat? And it lands on the grate, a loud thud, gunk, and a fire comes up and burns it to cinders. Yay! I meant to do that. <laughs> uh, the hat's there, uh, the drawing of the hat is there because I misty stepped away, and when I misty step, my hat stays behind. Yep. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Play that. Dina, your turn. Uh, <clears throat> There's a flying Modron in front of you, and Luna, quite a f few feet away. Okay. For all intents and purposes, I am going to continue to shoot down the kitty widget that is directly across from me because Luna's obviously got the dwarf guy. So I'm going to take my shot against the, uh, the kitty widget. Ooh. Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> my god. Fucking no, 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 Enoch took all the Gun! good dice karma today. How the fuck do you have a nine? Gun! Ooh. So you're, Gun. Shooting, you're shooting at which target again? This kitty widget here directly Ooh, across. Yes, you fire at it and phew, just it just shatters into a bunch of pieces and falls apart. And I point towards Kuro and I do a little circle motion and he nods and I'm just going to have him walk around the grates like this. Ooh. Just to set that ah. one Modron on fire. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Kuro just Wait, are you sure you want to do both? Actually, yeah, fair, you know what? Fine. You're right. You, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Just have him walk past the hat and then step on it and then step back <laughs> off. Yep. <laughs> you step on it. Kuro just jauntily steps forward on it and then steps back. And the, the Modron just looks down and its eye goes wide a bit and the fire <laughs> cooks it while it's in the air. Just a big pillar of fire. It does a little loaf jump. Just... Yeah. I, just, I like yeah. to just think that he just pranced on it, you know, like how corgis yeah. do their pounce. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> Kuro's just sitting there so proud of himself with a tiny little Good mechanical boy. widget nub. Yeah. Look at little boy. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> Next a smart dog is Renee. I'm going to trust y'all um, to do your thing with the widgets and the dwarf and all the shenanigans. Um, and I am going to maneuver this way, so... Because okay. I'm seeing... Okay, question for DM. Do I see this, like, black line, or is that just, Yes, like... you can see that those are wires. Okay. I'm going to follow the wires. Okay. So... You follow five, the wires 10, along. 15, 20, 25, 30. And, and I hope I'm really you... going to have to dash. Yeah, you're going to dash? Hope... Yeah, I'm going to dash because I don't trust myself on the grates right Renee now. Renee is the scout, it. it seems, and she's going to scout I am ahead. a scout. <laughs> and you walk Whee! through that door and see an entire different room. Oh, no! I don't... I... Oh. Oh, no! Uh, you, you creak open the door, and this is what you can see. Where was the boss room again, Nathaniel? <laughs> This is not the boss room, and that is what's worrying me. Also, is this an open room, or are there walls? Yeah, so this this one is actually open. The room you were in, Renee, was, had walls, so that's why you had to go through a door. But this one yeah. has railings, and you can see that oh, there is a okay. massive pool of molten iron underneath you. Cool. Um, that was 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Um, can I <laughs> say that I'm using my dash to barrel into this guy? <laughs> Is that possible, or mm, would that not be well, possible? Because the I'm action to dash, action. you can you can run into him, but tackling him would take an action, I would say. Exactly, and I don't have an action. No. Bollocks. Um, I'm gonna stay away from him then, and I'm actually gonna. Try. Well, that would be a thir so I was thirty. I was here, so let me just make sure. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. I could go forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty, sixty. You also could run. I don't run. have the railings again. 
<laughs> you also could run the the thirty feet back you now could. that you've seen the room. The that thing is, is you doesn't can it set on fire leave. as I run? Oh right, you can't yeah, leave. Yeah, I can't. It sets on fire as I run. It would. Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot how no, the floor works. You're word. fine. I, I would run back otherwise, but I can't now. I'm too in the game. Well, I'm um, coming for you. I'll come for you. I'm going to go right here. Just okay, kinda, let me just draw the uh, line of fire that you have just created. Yeah, that's fine. I would um, like to... It's a bonus action, so I'm going to use unsettling words on this orc that I just ran in on. Okay. <laughs> I can choose a, uh, one creature within 60 feet of me. And they have to subtract the number rolled for the next saving throw that it makes before the start of the, my next turn. So basically, I'm running in, and I see this orc, and I'm just like, what the fuck do you th think you're doing here, motherfucker? Just raises both middle <laughs> fingers, just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? what? I will say, <laughs> walking into that area, everything does notice you now. Uh, so show oh, me... Oh, everything? <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's pretty loud, and uh, you open the door. Now, Creek, like, if you were to... Actually, let me see... Cause they need to roll perception. That's a good. I thought that's that a good there idea. was a little bit of space. That's that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. A long distance. Okay, let me see. Let me see. And I'm not like shrieking at the top of my lungs. I'm just like, what the fuck. Yeah, that is true. Hi. That is true. That's a fair point. Uh, I, I would be I would be fine with these guys here and me because that they're they're close enough that that would be an issue. Yes. Whoops. That's not supposed to be there. Yes. I was rolling okay. perception and who would yeah. notice you? So. That's fair. I'll take those. I I was like the entire thing. I'm screwed. Because that's all the widgets, that's all the eyes, so that's all every, that's those two guys. Everything on the left side of the room from this yellow line that I just drew. I know it's hard to mm -hmm. see, what with the yellow and orange. That's uh, fair, that's from fair. From the elf to the left, those notice you. Yep. That's fair. I can I can deal with that. I can deal with my mistakes. It's fine. <laughs> okay. And that was, uh, so Renee, uh, what's your thing? You said that you were... I did dissonant... Um, Whispers on that dude, so he has a minus one d eight on his next. Um, he doesn't make a save or anything. Save, yeah, on his next saving throw, he'll have a minus whatever I roll right now. Oh, okay. He just notices you, and he's like, oh, "You're not supposed to be here." I'm not. Why did you let me in here? You suck. <laughs> well, <I guess. laughs> with your with your unsettling words, he just slumps his shoulders. <laughs> you suck. First, first, my mom. Now you. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're an intruder. Yeah, I, I am, dummy. I don't like that you gave him Story's voice, Joe. Whoops, How sorry. Dare. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I, feel, I have depression, see? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Luna, your turn. <laughs> Why are you in here? <laughs> Why am I in here? You suck! Okay, okay. So, uh, I want to keep, keep up keeping this guy down. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I have to, if I just have him down until he contests again. Is that how this works? Yes, I think you can make attacks against him. Uh, I yes. don't want to attack him. I want my echo to make attacks against these fucking things. Okay, so but that I is don't a know gap. Where they are. Notice there is no pathway here. That is a gap. Got you, got you. Okay. Yeah, that you need uh, well, to jump. Does well, your echo have gains? <laughs> Technically, that's not too far away for me to put my echo. Oh, okay. Like, he can move within. Th uh, he can move up to thirty feet away from me. Is his thing. That is. That is true. Yeah, it's just I can't spawn him. Um, I can't spawn him thirty feet away. I can spawn him fifteen away, but he can go up to thirty feet away from me. So if I could get him over the gap, I don't know if he makes those kind of checks. Your strength determines how far you can jump. Long jump. I assume this is what's going to because it's a horizontal jump. Uh, when you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump. My strength score, so 15. Oh, fantastic. You, you make the jump. <laughs> cool. Echo Dad's I, going over here. I always just roll. Rolling makes it easier. Echo Dad's going over here, and All he's right. going to be taking my two baps at these things. Okay, for me. awesome. All right. Bap, bap, bap. Show me the baps. Uh, wait, have I. I don't. I haven't used my bonus action yet, right? Nope. And not for this round. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, he's ready for me to become a lighthouse. Lighthouse. Ooh. Do it. Uh, <clears throat> radiant consumption going on because then nice. I get the bonuses for Echo Dad, and this guy Yay. starts to burn. <laughs> Ooh. Burn, baby, burn. That's uh, actually yeah. kind of funny. <laughs> okay, six damage every turn. Uh, it's three. It's three, three damage every it. turn. I made a macro to always remind myself, so this is Good. the consumption damage. 
so here we go. Abs uh, Absolution. Absolution also has fancy things on it now. It that's a natural fail, though. Mm -hmm, that is a natural Oof. failure. Uh... But, but, mm -hmm. I have another attack. <laughs> you do. Go ahead. Yeah, and again, Absolution has a fancy thing on it now. 15 is enough. Ooh. Yay! Uh, does the cleave enchantment uh, extend to uh, Echo Dad, or does it physically have to be my sword? I'm going to say, since it's on Absolution, it extends. <gasps> okay! Well, well, uh, I'm, I'm assuming I attacked this one. Then I believe the other one, if I'm reading this correctly, the other one takes half the damage. Okay, so this one takes five, and this one takes two. Yeah, uh, this one also takes six radiant damage because it's consumption. Rad. Oh, jeez. Okay, oh. this one... This one's dead. Just like a bright <laughs> light singes it, and then a sword cuts it down and dings into this one. And this one is nearly broken. Mm -hmm. And this and, guy uh, is nearly out. He's on death's door. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh, that's my turn. That's all I've got. Action, bonus action. Yeah, that was everything. Wait. Uh huh. I haven't unleashed my incarnation yet. Oh? Echo Dad finished this thing off. Oh, in wait, what is incarnation? In, in, in Unleash Incarnation. It's how I unlocked two attacks before I got two attacks. It was oh. the Echo Dad makes a second oh. attack when I make an attack. Nice. Echo Dad oh. can swing again. Swing, Echo Dad! Please, Go, one, more. Dad. Yes, yes, one more. Yes, one more. Get it. Yep, 16, and then the sixth. That is enough. You swipe down and cuts that widget, and it breaks apart into several pieces <laughs> onto the grate. Is it an action to let this guy go, or would it just be I get up and go? You just leave. Then I actually I don't have enough movement to clear that. So, yeah, that's my turn. I'm that's staying fair. on this guy for now. Next is yeah. the protector's turn. This guy, seeing as he's outnumbered and out sorted, he just lifts up both his hands with his face like just like muffled on the floor. I give, I give. Good. He has surrendered. Good job. Good job. God, he's got like so many status icons on him. I'm gonna put a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a. Meanwhile. A wing, as an angel wings to like white flag him. Nice. Meanwhile, this orc is gonna come up to you, and he's gonna brandish his axe, and he's gonna try and swap at you. Okay, that's uh, fine. That's fine. I'm coming, Renee. I promise. It's fine. Ooh, yes, he gets a good hit on you. I'm going to bash oh him in the What's face a good hit? so What's hard. Good hit? A good hit would be seven slashing damage on okay. you as he brings his axe down and you try Ooh. and move out of the way, but he's able to juke you and just cuts you pretty hard. Ooh. These Modrons uh, start to fly and start to no. head towards you. No! Leave it alone! Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Leave it alone! Oh my god, there's so <laughs> Only uh, these two have noticed me so far, though, fortunately. Yep. So, <laughs> But still. Oh go god! Here, they move here. so fast! Oh god, they fly now. Yeah, they, they fly really now! Slow, they fly now! Make the joke. <laughs> they fly now! <laughs> <laughs> We're dead. And They're this drums. elf is going to cast mage armor on himself. Damn you! Oh, ah! he's a mage! He's a mage! I hate this! <laughs> That's nice. That's no. so nice. Oh god! Next. Oh, it's, no, it's gonna be fine. Look at him achieving his dreams. Nathaniel, your turn. Well, there's a lot of fire in the way. Yes. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna pick up my hat, <laughs> uh, and then I'm, uh, and then I am going to calmly wait for this fire to end because I can't do shit while it's here. Uh, no. Uh, I will say, with your massive passive perception, you can see through the door. That, uh, let's see. I'll say you can see the line of sight. No, you can't. Mm. Never mind. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Nope. Unfortunately. Like, what if I was here? Let's what if I did that instead? Not really. Ah! Not really. I'm gonna say you can see that, Modron. Okay. That's good enough. That's enough. That's all anything further is, uh, hard angles. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright. Uh, in that case, I'm going to... A little, a little rude. Am I allowed to see the guy right behind him? Or is that... Hmm. Would that be too much? I'm gonna say because I have an much. idea. Fuck! Damn it! Okay. Can I, given like the spatialness of time and how I'm walking down as they're all flying over, I'm gonna hold my. A ah, no, it'd be kind of metagamey. I'm just gonna use mind sliver. Okay. Yep. I don't want a metagame. I'm just gonna hit okay. this guy with mind sliver. Five psychic. I had yeah. a great idea, but so yeah, hit him with mind sliver. Don't have anything else to do. I'll yeah, wait up. These things aren't too too smart as they're mostly made for following directions. 
And, uh, yep, you mind sliver. It, like, twitches, and you can see, like, little sparks coming out of its head. Like a strong gust of wind could knock this thing over. Yep. Well, that's me. Yeah. Thanks. You're, You're a welcome. strong gust of wind? Uh... Joe, I have a quick question. How high does the ceiling go for those grates? And how high do the flames go for those grates? Mm. So the ceiling above the grates is about just enough for you to fit. The ceiling is about 20 <laughs> feet up, and the flames go 15. Okay. You, can, yep. you can just squeeze through the top. However, the door is not that tall. It's fine. I just need to get over these first round of flames. Yeah, if you would like, you could probably out of fly just above these things and see out the door. Okay. As so, long as you don't uh, step on them. So, Radiant Soul is, uh, is bonus action. And then I am going to... Can I see the green man? You most certainly can. Kind of the through, green man. <laughs> through the flames, you can see a silhouette of someone a, uh, next to the silhouette who you can probably guess is Renee. You know, it sh- fits the frame. I'd know okay. that middle finger anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I've seen that middle finger on many different occasions. <laughs> <laughs> I slightly adjust aim away from it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> And I am going to take my shot with the gavel. Okay. Yes, it's that's going enough. To be an 18. Hooray! Uh, high. Yeah, and then also damage. Yes, you ah, are out of damage. the fire. And I'm going to say, since it passed through the fire, your bullet gains bonus fire damage. Ah, also, how much fire don't damage? Forget, and also, uh, I do an extra six points of radiant damage because of my oh, uh, radiant yeah. burning holiness. You get so. an additional D4 of fire damage since it's been heated up by the fire as it passes through. Okay, so let's roll a D4. Yeah, because that's a long nice. row of fire. Six, seven, so 14 points of damage altogether. Yep, Yay. okay, nice. You fire it out, and this guy is just holding his axe, getting ready to do another swing, but you just see... His, Renee, you see like a bright, like almost like laser, like from Star Wars, just like shoot through and kind of pierce through this guy's shoulder. Yeah. Fun. Um, I don't have a lot that I can do other than being very clever. So what I'm going to do is I'm pulling out my crossbow, but I'm basically going to like turn this guy around and aim it at his back. <laughs> um, if I can, and just say like, I'm going to need you to very calmly uh, call off all of your men right now. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, oh. just trying to like threaten him and be like, hey, mm. you don't want to get shot again? Gonna let's just try, try and make sure that I don't him. get shot too. Yeah. Okay. Let's just uh, try and make sure I don't get shot. Please and thank you. I, Either that, I also... but I'm also using it to basically stay behind him and he's going to be my meat cushion. Okay. If it doesn't work out, then I just get to have a meat cushion, which is fine. Now, turning him around, I don't know that, that you could probably just like move around him. I don't know that I would say you That's can fair. turn him so around. So would I go roll. like here then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is that everyone's going to see me do it now. Possibly. <laughs> Which but, is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, you can give me an but intimidation. I'm okay with that. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yay! Uh, I did forget to mention that Kuro is also flying along with me. Oh, oh sweet. Okay. And he, need, he needed to... I wanted to see if I could try and make it. Get him out to fly over to here. Oh yeah, he probably could. Cause he doesn't he's not touching it, he's just flying. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see if I could use force cannon on the green guys guy. Now there is a <laughs> wall to the right of yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, well then for, I just want him there. Okay, uh, cool. I okay. need him just in case somebody goes down. Let me okay. see if Did this the guy... intimidation work, please? <laughs> please. Doesn't he have disadvantage to oh wait, is this a save? No, that's a saving throw. He has a Damn disadvantage. It. I know. I was like, I might as well do it. If I don't get it, then it's okay. I no. guess I just use that to use cool it. You also, cool gave yeah, him, cool you also gave him unsettling words, so his morale's a little low. Yeah. After seeing whatever it was come through the fire, <laughs> he lowers his axe and drops it and puts both his hands up. Yay! Call them no, off! And the elf, like, stops channeling his, his spell that he was preparing. And uh, he just like clicks a button kind of on a 
sort of machine, like a small handheld machine, and all the uh, monodrones stop. <gasps> However, they still hold their rapiers, but they stop. So, you have made the orc surrender. However, you can see that the elf still looks a bit antsy. That's fair. You have convinced the orc. That. You have not convinced the elf. However, the That's elf fair. is waiting on the orc's command. Ooh, are we still in initiative order? We are still in initiative. And okay. since that was Lu uh, uh, Renee, we're going to Luna. That okay. works out great. It's the start of the is next the, Is the fear gone? Is the fire gone? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, fire. actually, it would have been on her turn, so now the fire is gone. Well, it's about to come back because I saw God that. damn it! <laughs> Listen, <laughs> someone has to go help Renee, and it's got to be I someone that's not as squishy proof. as you. So, so uh, uh, it would I be mean, a dash. I, it's a full dash I mean, for me to get there. So I, I could. I can only get here. Listen, she's gonna have to make it through at some point anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, and also I still have my radiant consumption up. Here's what oh, I'll do. Oh, I can still fly over the flames. Yeah, yeah you're fine. But also, yeah. here's, here's what I'll do to help with some of the frustration of this now, because I didn't think about this. If you so wish Enoch, you can, uh, Luna can, I don't know, like lead you alongside her and you can move your Can I like grab speed. his I would foot? have her movement, but. Well, yeah, that's the thing. This took my entire movement to get here. Mo my dash right and here. action to get here. Yeah. No, it's I, fine. It's fine. I can fly over it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna worry too much well, about the, it. Well, the problem I, is that you can't fly into the door. Yeah, the door is not That'll as tall as That'll just probably be like an acrobatics or something. Uh, Maybe an acrobatics I, to avoid the flame. We'll see. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm assuming there'll be a check just to get through the door. It's gonna be an awesome moment. Let's just wait. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Either that, or you're gonna set on fire, which will be even more terrifying. If you're, yeah. if you're okay with it, um, should note uh, everything within ten feet of me is taking radi uh, three radiant damage. Um, that includes... I'm not in ten feet of you, thank God. Nope, but that includes your captive, which is that's okay. Uh, I didn't know you had your captive, and I apologize. You didn't know. It's okay. No, not Luna's trying to help. Luna is trying her best. Yep, you Here's run my in and damage. just the blinding light as the orc is like, I I yield, I yield. Oh, good, good. What about you? Yeah. And I point, <laughs> I point my sword at that one. Um, Ooh. that will be on the protector's turn. And this elf is holding a mechanism that seems to be communicating, as you can probably tell, like as he holds it. And all of the constructs are just waiting at his command. And uh, he takes a few steps back, but he is going to hold his action. I'd, I'd think about what you're doing if I were you. Nathaniel, your turn. Hmm. I see. Uh, I there has been fire here, though. I can't do shit about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but you could. You know what you could do? You could go in the arms of an angel. He can fly you through <laughs> Don't the you door. Don't you fucking dare! <laughs> <laughs> I. Make them work together. <laughs> Maybe the to be friends. Of the age of... <laughs> I want I want many things in life. He could just misty step! Alright, alright, yeah. I will not do that! <laughs> alright, let let Nathaniel say his turn. Yeah, he's trying to make his own call. I'm sorry, I just oh, fuck me. I <laughs> I'm just gonna have to wait. There's fire here. I can't get down. Well, this okay. is alright, I'm here. I will hold my action to hopefully go where Luna is, but I can't even do that yet. Okay. Oh, I can't. I, I cannot. I cannot. I If I hold my action, I will be here and then I will die. So instead, oh, no. uh, I will wait until my next turn while everybody else funnels through. I, I can see the balancing issue that I did not take into account. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, deal. you just made a really no, good just, trap. It is a very good trap. Yeah, no, like this like actually makes us have to think about who we're sending in. You yeah. Know? If you so wish, to, you you can fly through every single like at the top, of course, of the fire pillars until you reach the doorway. Okay. In which case, you will have to make a dexterity save for the fire. Ah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Well, aren't you okay, a dexy okay. boy? Yeah, I am a pretty dexterous man. So, uh, okay. The thing is that I can't even... 
I can't even get up to, like, I will still be hanging here, even if it is my turn. Mm-hmm. But Kuro can go. Yeah, uh, you could, you could you dash. Air dash. You could dash. Air dash. Yeah, that's that's how I got here. Yay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll dash. Yep. Yeah. And then okay. you can get through the door. Now, that last one, I will need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I thought okay. you had, Wait. like, a longer amount of speed when you're flying. Light speed, I'm pretty sure, is equal to your walking speed. Uh, oh! Yeah. Okay. Let's see. 22. Ooh. Oh! That's pretty good. Okay, so that being my six. Okay, you do take four fire damage flying through. That's okay. Fair. As you are singed uh, a bit and flying through, you can see that the more people coming through the flames, the more shaky the elf's hand gets. Oh. And I, I come just flying down through the door right over Luna's head and then... Stop at the other end. Woo! Woo! Oh! And it's patting off the flames. <laughs> I just imagine, like, the force of it, Howdy. like, sent Luna's ponytail going over her face. <laughs> Ooh. Just basically like a jet engine. Yeah, yeah. You know how, like, that <laughs> stereotype of, like, your coat getting put over your head because of a strong wind? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's just Luna's like, ponytail. Like, patting himself as hard as he can just to get any of the flames that's on him off. It's like... And looking at the elf, howdy! Safe landing, I see. Uh, rough winds, obviously. <laughs> and then Kuro is also going to make a move. Okay, Kuro will need to make <laughs> a deck save as well. Oh no. Okay. Go, oh, little corgi! No. Let's see, oh, one, no. two, three, four, five. Okay. Swear to God, if anything happens to this dog. Go, little dog. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> we are getting kicked off of Twitch. Takes the full Kill damage. The dog. Oh okay. no. Okay. However, Maybe. uh, it makes a dexterity saving throw to only take half damage. Uh, it instead takes no damage if it succeeds on a saving uh, throw and only if half they of succeed. it if it fails. If they succeed, uh, yeah. Also, and uh, only half, only half if it fails. Oh. It can't use this trait if it's incapacitated. Okay. Oh. Kuro takes five fire damage. Um, Oof. also, um, well, uh, <laughs> e- e- Kuro's uh, down. Yeah, uh, he was gonna be down on my turn anyway because he's in my radiant consumption. Oh no! Mm. So basically, when one of these guys they just shut down, he just basically splutes and right. he just lays out. Oh, he's a summon, he's shut right? down. Oh. Uh, no, he just stays there until I use mending on him to heal him. Oh, okay, neat. Yeah, he's mechanical. Yep. So you can see Kuro just kind of like like falls apart into a couple of pieces and will need to be mended. <laughs> oh no. Yep. Poor he's, just, uh, he's just a very tired dog right now. Renee, your turn. Uh, when I pull with this guy, I'm going to pull on this guy because I see, do I see his hand shaking? Yep, you do. He's clearly cool. shook. Cool. Um, If he is that shooketh, I'm basically going to do like the, the eye movement from Legend of Korra of like my eyes to his <laughs> eyes, my eyes to their eyes and be like, they are, there's more where this came from? Do you really want to try me right now? I am not in the mood to play fucking games. <laughs> you may roll an so intimidation like, yes. with advantage. <laughs> yeah! There are several of okay. you. His one Angry com- French woman. <laughs> His one guard has Angry given up. Angry French woman is just not having it. 15! All right, 15. That's not bad. Let's see. The mage just sighs. Ugh, you should have given me a better partner. And just drops the Rip. thing. And you guys are out of combat. They've surrendered. Yes! I'm dropping I radiant. Dropping radiant consumption now. I don't want to continue <laughs> to burn things. And you can see that all the the Mo, Modrons just like s- stop and go to like land at the nearest safe spot. That's and fair. you can see the widgets just like just power down. All uh, right. I appreciate as... you guys being so kind. And you can see that there is a door into a room over here and two mechanically locked doors over here. Before I proceed here, because I, I want to go up to this guy and make sure that he is, you know, not trying anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to look at this dude. Do these floors have the same lovely uh, effects as in the other room? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Uh, Good to know. Are they something you can turn off, or am I just going to have to sprint? Faska! And uh, he calls out to the elf, and he's like, oh, Fine. And he's just like, can I go pick this up, please? And he points down to the little button. Wait till I get there. 
And I will sprint across. Okay, yep, you sprint across, <laughs> the fire follows behind you, and I'll say that this fire has dissipated. Nathaniel, if yeah. you want to head that way as well, you may. <laughs> fuck, you would fuck, like fuck, to fuck, come fuck, in. fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> say that I run <laughs> past all this I, fire. Yep. Yeah. I am like, gonna get down right. on one you're, knee. You're safe, you're good, you're fine. I'm gonna get down on one knee. I'm going to uh, cast mending on Crow, which does two d6 healing. Nice. Yay! Which Aww. he goes right back, right back to full health. <laughs> Aw, good boy. Good boy. All right. Yep. And uh, Luna, you can see that there is kind of a box-like device with several buttons. You can see that there are is a lever, kind of for the uh, monodrons, a lever for the widgets, and you can see that there is a switch as well, presumably for the uh, grates. Does this guy, does he still look shifty or does he just look kind of more like, is he giving kind of like a Julius thing where he's just like, you know, done and tired? He He's just co- consistently looking uh, at you with a stink eye, dividing his his attention to between you and his orc companion. He's very unhappy with the situation that he's in, but he doesn't look like he's about to do any sudden movements. Okay, um, I'll look at him. Uh, kind of like jer- like uh, jerk my blade towards the ground. Go on. I'll take your hand if you do anything other than take the f- turn off the fire there. And trust me, this little thing behind me will not be enough to take me down before I do. He slowly reaches down and flips the switch, and you can see underneath the grates, there seem to be circles that kind of cover the holes that just all come in unison, covering the floor beneath you. Now take your hand off it. He lifts both his hands and puts them kind of way up. And walk that way. And she's motioning in this direction. I appreciate you being so concerned, Nathaniel, running in like that. But <laughs> but she's kind of looking cocky, but also like very like pleased with herself. Like, I got things fixed you down in here, and we didn't have to. Like, yeah, there was no more fighting. <laughs> like, Tell me. She cannot hide it. <laughs> which one of you created this fiery trap? Uh, the orc just looks over to his elf buddy, and he speaks up. Uh, we, we didn't really make any of these. Uh, they were old, run down, but we were shown how they work. I see. By who? Mm, he's just tightening his lip. Darling, you might as well tell him, because the only way uh. that he's going to get information out of you otherwise is not going to be pleasant. And I'm nice. Mm. Uh, if you tell us, will you let us go? You mean if you tell us, not us telling you? If we tell you, will you let there us you go? go. I know you're scared, it's fine. That depends entirely on what you tell me. I will let you know this. When I came in here, I was in a very forgiving mood. The more that I have to wade through this fiery, stab-happy, maniac's workshop, the less of a forgiving mood I'll be in. Oh no. And if I have to return here without the answers that you could give me right now, I would be in a very unhappy mood. No role needed for that. Uh, <laughs> the elf just elbows the orc. Uh, we all gotta die someday. Uh, listen, Castilia was talking with this human. He showed us how this place works, teleported us, uh, teleported us in, and gave us that button. Taught the us how it worked. Wa- the button over there? Yeah. I'm gonna go back and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <Tell me. laughs> Did uh, this human have a half mask and a green stubble? Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, Fucking Pierce. I still hate that name. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Pierce, man! God damn it! <laughs> Fucking Pierce. Gunt, well, we already knew that, but at the very least, you were truthful. So, uh, what happens now? That is actually a very excellent question. Oh, for now, you're going to both need to be uh, restrained. Let go, mm-hmm. of course. But for now, I need to make sure that once we come back here, we're not going to have to deal with fiery jets of lava. I mean, I can always just knock them out and take this. And I oh. hold up the button. I appreciate that, actually. You guys don't mind taking mm. a little nap, do you? Yes, actually. That would be a good idea for you. They both look at each other. Uh, what do you mean by that? 
I we're not hit- going to kill you. Very- what we mean is we're not going to kill you. You're going to be put a little bit in, um, into just a little bit of a sleep for a little while, maybe a few hours, give or take. Well, you might have a headache after it, but you'll be alive. But you'll have a pleasant sleep. You won't have to worry about much. All right, who's knocking and then him I out? I'll let you go. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Luna's got the sword. Okay. I was going to do it with, I was just going to bap him with the pommel of my blade, but you were trying to say something, Nathaniel? Oh, I mean, I was just going to say if Luna's going to knock out one, I will take my hand and like bring it to the side of the orc's face and then we can in tandem do it. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, Ooh. I I I have a I I I don't know why I really want to smack this elf, but smack yes, him. I want to smack, smack the elf. Him. Smack him. <laughs> yep. I will say, like, no rules required because they're restrained. They're not resisting. Like, and you would, if if one hit didn't knock them out, you would. I would assume you kept going until it would. I will very con- very calmly hand to, to face. Mine's liver. Mine's liver. Mine's liver. Mine's liver. <laughs> oh. Yes, you do so and and you, until it goes to sleep. You incapacitate them both. <laughs> Yay! Well done. Luna's gonna walk up to you, Nathaniel. I think you might want uh, control of this, yes. and I'll give you the button. I think having you in control of the fire is the smartest thing. <laughs> what, the hell, what in the hell is I've... this? It's what they use to control the floors. Gonna... That switch on I'm... the side. I'm going to investigate all these buttons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with your passive investigation of eight, I think it was? Uh, uh, absolutely not. What was it? Oh, no, plus eight it... is what he means. Uh, so <laughs> here's the thing. Uh-oh. My investigation is better than my perception. Oh, I have yes. a passive inve- or I have a passive investigation of 20. I be- uh, let me let me make sure. Just it I believe Jesus. the observant also gives this to me. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a passive investigation of 23. Right. Daniel, what the hell? <laughs> with a with a passive investigation, you're able to figure out the controls very easily. These mono drones and widgets can follow very simple basic commands with those controls, which is what all they're good for. Uh, you can select, so basically on your turn, you can spend a bonus action to command them to target uh, a single person, basically dogpiling. That's a very good idea. And Do, are these things turn, alive? They are, no, they are constructs. Okay, that's a, understood. Yeah. Uh, alternatively, mm. you can spend a bonus action to activate the fire grates. Basically, Fun. <laughs> just opening the holes and thus, you know, fireproof, fire activating whoever steps mm-hmm. over them as was That's happening an, before. That would be an awesome nice. way to slow people down. Yes, it would. We're keeping that button. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, you can either control. Sorry, um, let me be specific. Since there are separate controls for the uh, monodrons and the widgets, you can command either one. The widgets are ranged, the monodrons are melee, so they will have to fly within range of your target. Why am I being given an army? What is this? What are you putting? What are you hiding inside of that boss room? All right. I will spend some time collecting all of the monodrones and the widgets and putting them in one big group over here. All right, great. Is it okay if I... Uh, that looks like a box... And it I kind of want to open it. The treasure. That's a box. I want to open it, okay. please. Oh, God. You not... may. And let I, me just... I'm the one with probably the best sleight of hand here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to stay next to you in case it's a mimic. Yeah. Again. <laughs> yeah, like last time. Come here, Kuro. <laughs> now, don't get your dog eaten by it. Come on now. Listen, his he is a combat dog specialist that is specifically designed in order to help those who fall in battle and also to bark really 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 loud at enemies so sleight of hand you mean that little boofy the delio uh, <laughs> a, a minor tweak that needs to be made when we get back ah. i'm gonna uh i'm gonna put my tools uh i got uh i got these tools and a sleight of hand of plus six for unlocking. It does not need to be unlocked. Uh, it's just a normal chest. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. You're like getting all your tools ready, and then you go, oh, there's no lock on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it just, it is just <laughs> basically a link, box. kick it open. <laughs> a simple storage <laughs> chest. You kick it open, and... Uh... Yeah. Roll initiative, it's a mimic. 
<laughs> Dark Souls music starts. <laughs> With the objection pointed at it the entire time. Suck here feels fishy. Okay. But you appreciate having Joe? an entire army down here now. Just like looking at all of the... As a matter of Joe? fact, I do not. These things oh. are remotely controlled, and I imagine that if there's something that made them or understands them better than we do, it might have an override control. It might be better uh -huh. that we just destroy them now. So yep. inside, inside okay. you find one potion of healing, <gasps> ten gold pieces, and oh. what is called a gravity rod. Oh. What? And it will need to be identified because you don't know what it does. Ooh. <laughs> it just Ooh. has the name uh, Gravity Rod. Okay, well, you find, you find a rod of some <laughs> gravity kind. Gravity Rod, that can be That can be uh, extended and contracted uh, that Ooh. looks very wand-shaped, but we're just going to name it Gravity Rod. Rod's a different thing from a wand. They're, they're different items. Yes, they are. Well, yep. rod face is a different item. Got him. <laughs> I tell all my robots to move down 15 feet. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Okay. Uh, You're just gonna better, kill them all. Okay. This better I'm, not be a fucking. Mm. I'm probably okay. going to see what's going in that door because it looks like the wilds from earlier head that way. This is a trap. I know so, that these robots I know it's are a trap. trap. I don't care. No, it's uh, the robots. Really? They're a trap. I'm not getting an army. Renee, Renee. Yes. May I? May I come with you? Okay, uh, qu quick question. How many healing potions was it? One. 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 I'm going to give that healing potion, and I'm going to have uh, have our boy carry it around. Kuro. Kuro is going to carry Kuro's the healing gonna potion. Kuro's going to carry. Kuro's going to carry. Yeah. He's like, yeah, what, are those, what are those rescue dogs that, like, rescue from yeah. a snowstorm? Yeah. He's oh, like yeah. one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm going to inform the party, hey, if y'all start feeling a little sick... Kuro's got you covered, and I point towards the healing potion on uh, one of the little, uh, oh, like, it's just kind of stored between the nape of his neck and along his back. Well, if well, we have the I moment, if anyone it. wants to take it, they can. I'm fine. Um, if it helps, I could use it. Yeah, you probably could. Kuro, go. <laughs> <laughs> waddle, waddle, waddle. Uh, yeah, it just goes over. <laughs> I'm also going to use my healing hands on myself. <laughs> Here I go with my drinking again. Okay, <laughs> so give me 2d4 plus 2. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, 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 glug. Not bad! Nice! Almost nice. all of my health is back. Yay! <laughs> hey! I'm nice. 1 HP down. Let's do this. Crow goes, Bork! God. Bork! 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 So you guys, bork. Uh, bork. You guys not exploring <laughs> these locked doors at all? Not yet. I cannot deactivate until you tell me that your <laughs> service is satisfied. Okay. You are satisfied with your health care. All right. Uh, I totally realized that I didn't update the thing on the roll 20. I, was, I updated on the D&D &D Beyond, but I didn't update on the roll 20. So I was like, I'm fine. I'm in full health. Look at my D&D &D Beyond sheet. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. I died. <laughs> so what are you guys doing now? I want to go over here to this door. Because yeah, okay. it looks like the wires led that way. And I am following Renee so she does not get separated by walls of fire again. Thanks. I am not going to split the party, even though I really want to know what this is. But I really do too. But I'm prioritizing this, and then we can for catch it, it on the sure. way back. We're gonna yeah. catch yeah, it. We'll on the come way back. back for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I am yeah, prioritizing yeah. trying to figure out what the hell the wires are, and then we'll come back. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds great. Let's deal with the protectors, then we can go exploring. Yeah. Yes. Exploring. Renee, lead the way. Wait a minute. All Our right, opening the door. Leader. So you open the door, and you see inside a large room. Let me just do. Full of uh, lots of uh, oh, no. powered, yeah. powered uh. down uh, and not activated warforge, and one particularly large warforge in the center of the room. Yeah. You, yeah. Also, you also see a powered up crystal of some kind in the far end of the room, a bunch of grates, uh, several widgets, and you can see two tabaxi that look to be bickering. Oh. Have they noticed us yet? Uh, they have not, it seems. You Good. have come in pretty uh, quiet. Good. And, ah, oh, shit, I didn't make a thing for them. Huh, how have I not? Oh, well, I'll just show how I jankily have shown. So, yes, you can see they're bickering amongst themselves, and they haven't noticed you. Oh, just... What are they bickering about? I can uh, you listen in, and 
They're, uh, they seem to just be arguing over the plan. No, no, no. Ca Cassie said to wait here for those goons to come in. No, no, no. Cassie said for us to go out and go get him. Um, Renee might actually, like, gesture back for the device. Just like, did it, did it. <laughs> what? Gesture She's going to gesture back for the device. Basically, like, give, 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 give. Would they oh, control Nathaniel. these ones? No, I have a plan. I was going to just try and, like, pretend that I'm a goon. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll hand I don't it know off if, to you. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how well it's going to work, but I might as well just try and put on a performance. At the very least, it'll get us in the room long enough to situate ourselves. Can I just say that I stay within 10 feet of you so that somebody can help you in case they think up on you? Because I don't That's want the fine. squishy bar to die. That's fine. I'm not going to I love die. Renee. I love Renee. I don't want anything to happen to her. <laughs> All right. Okay, but, all right, I am basically just, whew, like, deep breath, and then, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so you head on in, and, like, at the first step, both their ears twitch, uh, these two tabaxi, and they both kind of take a defensive stance, and you can see them. I will put this in the group chat and then show the chat chat. Yay! The chat chat. Yep. Oh, they're so hot! Yeah. So these two tabaxi. Of course tabaxi, they are. Of course they are. They are. They are twins. It's the Sparkle Everyone's Cats. Tweedle D and Tweedle Fuck Me. Tweedle D and <laughs> it's the it's the Sparkle Cats. Tweedle D and Tweedle G. <laughs> Tweedle Oh Why? my How, how do you but, consistently and there is not a single person in Balconist that is not attractive. Yeah. So, Renee's they, gonna walk in. They both uh, raise uh, their fists towards you, Renee, just kind of like widening their stance. Halt! All right, all right. No need, no need to calm the calm down. There's no need for all that. They see the button in your hand, and they both kind of in unison tilt their head. They don't remember you. No, she was, was the one that. New. She was the one. I'm, she was at that I'm, place. No, she wasn't. What place? I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I'm literally brand new. And I literally just grabbed one of the, the control from those guys trying to come in here and asking what the fuck we're doing. Give me a deception. Okay. <laughs> I love how easily you switched into that too. God, that was good. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Yes. 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 Ooh. Ooh, we're not 20, bitch. You can see the darker haired one just kind of goes and baps the other one kind of on the chest. See, we didn't meet her before, but now she's here. She's probably a new recruit. Welcome! Thank you. Now, can you tell me what the fuck's going on? I'm just trying to figure that out. <sighs> Those two not tell you on the way... Uh, I told you they were no, unreliable. No, they fucking didn't! They weren't even being nice to me! Well... Uh, the white-haired one speaks up. I'm Yoltool. And then the, the black-haired one speaks up. And I'm Kotool. And we're... And they both pose. Lieutenants of the Protectors! Oh, God. Well, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> My name's Elaine. It's nice to meet you. Uh, they both oh, kind of extend a hand to you, but they yeah. kind of like bicker and kind of bat each other's hands on who gets to shake yours first. <laughs> oh my them. god. I love them. Don't make me love them. Uh, 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 <laughs> sorry. Uh, if you want... Uh, I assume you want to know what's going on because those bungle heads didn't tell you. Well, this yes, thing... Yes, they fucking do. You can't trust no one in here. I know, right? Yeah. God, especially... Uh, <laughs> This thing, this thing right here, this crystal, Cassie told us that this thing was supposed to activate these Warforged, but it's missing. You see that little hole there? It's got a little orb. Supposedly, sp something round is supposed to go in there, but we can't find it. She said, oh, just oh, look what harder. The fuck? Oops. What the fuck? I know. I thought all the th stuff was supposed to be in here to start with. I know. That's what she told us, but apparently somebody nicked it. Oh, Oops. That is just <laughs> downright shabby of them. <laughs> Now uh, we've got these hunts sleep? of metal that don't do anything. <laughs> all that things. Work on tabaxi. <laughs> <laughs> and all that crystal's good for is keeping that bloody door closed. Ah, uh, well, that's fucking stupid. Can I go take a look at it? I might be able to see what's going on. Too right. Go take it. Take a look all oh, you want. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. So, thank you so much. I'm gonna walk over <laughs> to here. And <laughs> I'm gonna knock it over. <laughs> Basically, I want to look like I'm, fu I'm futzing around with it, and then I'm just going to accidentally knock it over, like, oops, boom. I just want to make sure I'm still out of sight from these two. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume you're, like, just, like, behind the wall at an angle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm literally just wait, listening for signs of distress from Renee. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. 
Yeah, no, I'm just going to accidentally, quote unquote, knock this over. But while I'm trying my best to figure out what's going on, like, maybe if I twist it like this, boom. <laughs> yeah, you f knock it over it. and it just, phew, just loses all its color. And they're like, oh, oh be careful with that, hey? Hey, that thing's important, eh? Sorry, sorry, for, sorry, I fucking, apologies. I didn't fucking know I was going to do that. Oh, now are we going to tell Cassie? She's going to kill us. Very uh, Only if she finds out, hey? Maybe, maybe because I'm new, I'll be able to sort of figure things out with them. So I'll, I'll go ahead and take a fall. Wait it's, uh, it's a first day, first mistakes. The Yotul walks up. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. So you just a newbie coming in here thinking you know about crystals. What are your qualifications? I was specifically recruited. I've been working with Warforge most of my life. <laughs> Give me one more deception. Okay. Come on, Gorlami. Come on, Gorlami. Come on, Ray. <laughs> yes! Oh, my God. Go. <laughs> Buongiorno. Gorlami. Code Tool uh, just walks up and just kind of slaps her sister on the back of the head. <laughs> Oi, stop being so mean to the new recruit. All right, sorry, sorry, fine, jeez. Thank you. Listen, no worries, I ain't even mad at you two. Listen, glowing reviews all around. Listen, <laughs> apologies for my sister's rudeness. Listen, we got some nice loot in these chests. If you would like us a little bit of a, a, an apology, you can grab one of them. I still want to keep one of them because they're fancy. Are you sure? But... I, I want in true. No, and she's no, like making her way over to the chest. <laughs> oh, I'll, t I'll take a look at it. I'll take a look at it and make sure, need, see if there's any. We don't need much use for there. weapons. We just mostly pump things, but you can have one of them. No, that's super fair. Let me let me just see if there's anything I can grab. Maybe like I, I can rework one of those things to work with the more yep. And they both <laughs> kind of <laughs> they're both kind of shoulder to shoulder, pushing and shoving each other as they look in this chest. <laughs> okay, what the fuck's in here? Okay. I feel bad that we're probably gonna have to fight these two. Why do you? No, why did you make yet. every member of this right fight of Jeff so charming? I wonder this if I can lock the door behind me. <laughs> This is a non-issue. Renee pulled off a better <laughs> fucking Inglorious Bastards Italian scene ever, ever, ever. All right, you look at that chest. Nice. I don't really know what my accent is right now. And you, yeah, I don't know either. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Look, that's what I mean. You look it's, in like, there. it's Cockney. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of and Cockney. You, you find several just like scraps of metal. Possibly some uh, crafting materials, so you can oh. get that. A, okay. a uh, coin purse that contains Ooh. eight gold pieces. Mine. <laughs> and That's mine. you find three like hefty, hefty-looking wrenches that look nice. like nothing you've ever seen before. They look in a similar kind of design as all the warforged in this factory. These will cool. also need to be identified to see what they do. However, you can still uh, use them as a basic improvised weapon. Cool. Um, I'm just going to take those. I'm sure that, that our happy little artificer is going to have a ball with those. Maybe they'll be good bones for the dog. Anyway, um, I'm just <laughs> yeah. going to take those and be like, all right, maybe I can see what I can do with these. Thank you so much again. I, I really deeply apologize for this. I'll go make sure that Cassidy knows what's going on. Make sure I let you know everything. Coach her. Uh, and please, let, uh, could you tell her to, to give us... Someone send us something about if those goons are coming down here or not. We're getting bored. Absolutely. Uh, listen, I totally understand. I will make sure that they come down here. Kotul, I want to punch something. And then Yotu just like, we will just fucking just calm down. All right. You guys we'll, know we'll a fun game later. you can play while... You got, actually, you know a fun game you guys can play while you're busy? Ooh, I like games. Shut up, Kotul. Yeah, why don't you, you hold your hands out like this and like basically holding both our hands out, palms up? Uh-huh. They, uh, they or palms, uh, or uh, palms down actually, and then Renee's gonna put her hands underneath, and then flip them around and smack the hands. Oh! <laughs> and smack the <laughs> and she's like, oh it, "It's God. a game. It's a game of speed. See, and you guys can see which one's the fastest by seeing if you can slap the other one's hand before they pull them away. And it's also a game of deception." Ooh. Oh God! You are going. These two are gonna kill each other. And these other. two are competitive oh as God. fuck. They're gonna play it for yeah. hours. Yeah. <laughs> so no. Yotul and Kotul turn to each other. And Coach was like, you, you go first. I, I don't want to go first. You go first. You got to see how she did it. You're just going to cheat. I'm not going to look. Okay, fine. I'll go first. And then they start to play slaps, essentially. Yes. Yes. You guys have fun. I'll go make sure everything's kosher and let's see what they're doing. And they continue to bicker amongst themselves. You cheat. No, 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 no. No, look. And she like comes over and like. Their voices fade. Lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> Lock the door. 
<laughs> Can we lock the door or barricade it with something? Well, uh-huh. it does. Well, uh, whatever locking mechanism would be there, I don't think you would recognize. But you could. I don't know. How would you? How would you try to barricade it? Hmm. I mean, we have all those mechanical things. We could just ask them to stay, stay put, barricade the door. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Oh, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hmm. What is hmm. your idea? From being an artificer, I was able to make an alchemy jug. Ah. <laughs> because oh. I remember this. And I am wondering if I could use acid to melt the metal together. Ah! To melt it closed. Do you have an alchemy jug on you right now? Yes, I do. I do. Okay. It's from being an artificer. You get a magical item. I don't uh, think. From your I level. don't think you get. Well, one it's one. For of, it's one of your infusions. Oh, yeah. it's your infusion. Oh! oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So, I pull out this small little bottle in my hand, mm-hmm. and I say, "Acid." Okay. I uncork the top, close the door as quietly as possible, and just pour acid to where the point that the metal begins to slightly melt together. Okay, well... Oh, right. Well, that was I will something see, else. Well, I, I, I will see if the metal is weak enough to be melted. We'll see. Worst case, if not, then we made an attempt. I feel like Luna is just staring at you, Renee, with just this, like... What? Holy shit expression on her face, like... That was amazing. Well, you just did. Thank you. That is part of what I do. That... Yeah, I, I know I'm what you do. I'm not much of a fighter. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know that. But good. That was good. That was really good. All right, you Thank pour you. you pour the acid kind of along the door frame, and it slowly starts to melt. It's going to take a little bit of time, but you can tell there's wear and tear on this entire kind of factory. So this thing is not holding together well. So given enough time, mm. this will warp this door frame. Uh, All right. Fun. Question: Does this door have hinges? It does, yes. Is there like a piece of scrap metal anywhere around me? <laughs> you're, you're gonna I wedge mean, I picked the up door. a flinch. Yeah, I was thinking just wedging something in the in the hinge to like keep it there while we're waiting for the uh, acid to melt. I'm gonna make this very simple for everybody. I'm gonna like command two of these Modrons to just hold the door closed. <laughs> Yay! Beep thank you. boop, do there job. <laughs> beep boop, go to sleep in front of the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, your just holy hold it closed. Job. Hold <laughs> door. Hold the yeah. line. Do we want to check out what these doors are? Do you? Y- you I can want to. if you want. Now you but... can see some large locking mechanisms on those doors. Uh, okay. Very so old and here. very worn, but also very complex looking, like with lots of gears and kind of handles and such. Okay. Wait, it's a very complicated lock? Yes. I'm a very complicated person. I'm going to try to pick the lock. Okay. <laughs> Do you need my thief stools again? I think I still have my own. I haven't broken them. Did I, you never... have them? Yeah, I, I thought had... you didn't have them before. I gave them to you. Oh. I let you oh. borrow mine. I see. In that case, Oops. uh, Modrin, come here. You are my thief stools. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna, put, you you're gonna pick tool. apart the Modron and like use them. Or, or, is it gonna? Oh no, is it going or, to object? It is not. It is under your Good. command. I Fantastic. Could just give you my lock picks, Nathaniel. I would, I would like to have my broken. own so that I don't have to keep asking for yours. Okay. That's fair. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Yeah, you All can right. you can easily pick apart the pieces and bolts and kind of wires mm-hmm. of the Modron as it like slowly falls apart like pieces of its arm and wing, and you are Fantastic. able to fashion yourself your own set of thieves' tools. That that means that this Hooray. Modron is useless. I command it to walk five feet to the left. Oh no! It walks and sleep. just kind of like tries to flap with its one working wing <laughs> up onto the rail and <laughs> into the lava. Um. I, I do Ooh. hate to interrupt, but before we might potentially set off a trap, have we gone over the, these bodies yet to loot them before we, nope. you know, want to <laughs> do you unleash wish Armageddon? To? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just feel like that's something good to get out of the way before uh, whatever ha- the hell happens here, okay. and I'm sorry. Uh, we'll do Nathaniel's oh, lockpicking first, and then we can loot those. Okay. Bring it on. Perfect. So, with a 17... Uh, and these, yeah, I, I was going to say these are different from the other lock uh, that you had all the time. Even though you have all the time in the world with this one, I, yes, you do require a check. And the reason being is because 17 is not enough. And the door has a a kind of 
second door above it that <laughs> slams shut. And oh. that door has been locked down. Right. Well, that's unfortunate. However, there is one more door There's that leads one to the more same chance. room. Do you want to try again? I am not incredibly adept at opening these doors. I mean, neither am I, but... What do you need done? I'll try we to sh- open these doors, and it seems like they have a little safe-proof thing if you, don't get, if you don't get it done in time. It seems that the lock is... It has its own defense mechanism. If you are I've... capable of unlocking it for us. I Would can you... pick locks. Can you pick locks as good as me, though? I'm not saying that in a mean way. Who is picking the lock? I, I'm staring down Enoch for that comment because like, all I, right, go I for it, sir. I got a plus six. Go I got a plus six. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no, no. What, what, what she's gonna do is, is she's six. going to Just slowly. Open the door. She's going to slowly go into her bag, take out her tools, and shove them in your chest. Just <laughs> go for it, then. You made the woman I, mad. You I better open not. that fucking door. <laughs> All right, fine. Jeez. I Enoch. hope to God you can open that door. You're going over the side. Enoch, before you start. Yeah. You look at me. I look at you. We look at each other. Okay. I expect you to do well. And I give you my bardic inspiration. Oh. <gasps> oh okay. Is that the first bardic inspiration to Enoch from Nathaniel? Correct. Oh my well, god. I mean, to, be, to be fair, I don't throw them out very often because I usually really use mantle don't. of inspiration. It's very yeah. rare. It's because I use mantle of inspiration so much, right. but I yeah. want this to be arguably more useful. You have an to additional us, D8 so. that you may spend. Very, very good. All right. Uh, also, can I have Kuro provide me with a help action <laughs> to give me <laughs> advantage? <laughs> I'm going to say hmm. not for these locks. These are very That's particular okay. locks that are old and foreign to you. And that oh, Kuro gosh. would not be able to help in any way That's unless fair. Kuro somehow right. knows ancient, you know, history of Belkinus <laughs> locks. Oh, I don't God. know. Did you install that? that? File. Damn yeah, it. did you install that software onto him? Uh, you haven't gotten the ancient eventually. tools update? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eventually. All right, let's give it a go. 12 and. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. Let me, let me, what's, what's the inspiration? It's a, it's a D8. It's a D8? Okay. No! 16? Unfortunately, the second lock, you hear a kachunk, uh, and the door slams shut. Uh, what was down. that? What was that about, can you pick a lock as good as me? What was that? My expectations have been not met. Oh. The, yes. Maybe you should watch your tongue no. next time, Enoch. Oh. Uh, fuck. That was, oof. Well, we didn't get what's no, inside of that door. No, fuck is right. No, fuck is right. Okay. We didn't get what's inside so, of that door. Let's continue moving. Yeah. So we will call the session here. Uh, thank you for playing, guys. Uh, thank you, uh, just, ever, all the viewers. I'm glad to be back in it. Joining in. Yeah. Oh my god, I've missed this so much. Me too. Yeah. Yep.